Good morning, afternoon and evening everyone. This is Hippie Tesla with Scarlet. We're continuing our run of Gears of War 2. Yeah, good evening over here. <laughs> good evening, Scarlet. Uh, hardcore, All hardcore. Right, let me... We're good. Yeah. Let me just start my stream and then we'll be good to go. Oh, there was still Act 2, huh? Why did I think we switched to Act 3? Technically, Act 3 is the part, honestly, after the worm. Well, yeah. Act 2 is pretty long. No, oh, where's the part? Starting point, last checkpoint. No shit! <laughs> What's up? What's well, up? <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's not a name checkpoint. It's just the last checkpoint. If that makes yeah. sense. Yeah, I know. It's just funny. Starting point, last checkpoint. <laughs> right. Kind of, seems kind of obvious. All right. There we go. We're good. Let's go. Uh, there we go. Isn't it cool how the loading screen and the menu screen foreshadow what's going to happen with the burning city? <laughs> I mean, I, I don't know about cool, but like, I don't know. I was like big into the multiplayer back when this game kind of came out. So like, <laughs> this loading screen pissed me off. I did not like the Gears 2 multiplayer. Really? That's the one I least played as multiplayer. What do I have? Lancer and, ooh. Where's like, I don't know. I see him. When it comes to Gears of War, shotgun mechanics are almost everything. And Gears 2 shotgun mechanics were awful. Well, thanks for stealing my revive, Cole. I'll remember oh, that. Oh, yeah, he totally jacked that from you. Somebody poke their head, please. Uh, my aim is so bad. Yeah, thank you, Marcus. That's exactly what I'm saying right now. Oh. Uh, like, I aim straight for his forehead and his bullet, you know, when it, like, nudges your aim. Just overshot him. Oh my god. And one of these ugly assholes, like, poked their head up. <laughs> I know. Oh, wow. okay, you know what? Fuck it. I'm going in. I'm going in. I'm we just can just throw like, a grenade there, like this. Yeah. Oh, that's a small grenade. Wow, Where'd they did everything. Too? Ink grenade. Problem solved. <laughs> oh, yeah. Ink grenades were pretty nasty back in the day. Yeah, now they're more like firecrackers. I mean, when you really think about it, it's like Infection Alex with Contagion. Mm-hmm. That's a good comparison. Where's the Blood Mount? I got a, I got 500 oh, questions for him. Blood Mount? It was a Cantus. Oh. I can't follow oh, okay. up There's the Blood this. Mount. <laughs> I'm sacrificing my life to kill that Blood Mount. No, don't die! I can't um, run with this shit. Okay, they revived. Carmine just straight up saved my ass. Draw oh, them here. I'm dead. Hey, Cole. Hey, I'm probably still gonna die. Man, now I am. This is crazy. Okay, let's go. Wait, you survived it? Somehow he lived, yeah. <laughs> Look at me wailing like a, <laughs> like a duck. Quack, quack, quack. <laughs> Hell, I don't know what else. I'm getting similar reports, Marcus. It's horrible. Did you find Baird? Yeah, we got Baird. You can't miss Baird. He's loud as an air raid siren. <laughs> I bet they didn't torture him because he was like, "Oh, now you're gonna torture me." Oh, what? Oh, that's so original. <laughs> and they were like, "Fuck you." <laughs> <laughs> like he's sarcastic, but yeah, maybe <laughs> honestly. Yeah, he was. Thanks, Anya. Delta out. I just remember, like, this game was like, in comparison to the first game, a huge improvement, at yeah. least for the campaign.
For the campaign, definitely. But for the multiplayer, it felt so ass backwards. The shotgun made no fucking sense. I remember we would shoot each other at like point blank range. Neither would like, you know, one tap. But like the other person would step backwards, like at a further distance, and then one tap. It made no sense. Two hundred of these left. I only played like two matches of Gears 2 multiplayer, two matches of Gears 1 but remastered, mm -hmm. and I played a lot of 4 and 5. I even played 5 beta, and I noticed that everybody, because uh, I played these games for the campaigns, right? But I noticed that everybody just carries the shotgun and nothing else, and I tried other weapons. Pretty much. Yeah, it's like everything else feels useless when people just I mean, yeah. jump over the wall and one shot you nowadays if you try to like bring in a lancer into multiplayer you probably have a better time but like in the beginning not so much so like okay what was it? um 2007 was when i first really got this game uh i played the fuck out of gears uh one and then 2008 came around and gears 2 came out I played this game, even though I didn't like the multiplayer, I still played it. Which is dedication, if you ask me. Uh, then when Gears 3 came out in 2011, I was in fucking love. Because Gears 3 was like... Gears 3 like fixed everything I hate about Gears 2 and multiplayer. The multiplayer department. Oh yeah, it fixed all of that. Coal! Not the coal! Where's the coal? Hey, there he is. And then Judgment came out, no one paid any attention to that. People still played 3. And it wasn't really until Gears 4 came out that people... No, actually, the Ultimate Edition was when most people made the Switch. I didn't know Ultimate Edition was played by people that much. You want the ammo? Oh my god. Yeah, go ahead and pick it up. Uh, people who loved Gears 1 definitely play the Ultimate Edition. Because it was literally just Gears 1 all over again. With better graphics and everything. Yeah. You went left, they all went right. Is there anything left? No, there's nothing over there. It's a dead end. I just realized, by the way, what you were saying about the turbo controllers for the hammer burst. I didn't know it shoots faster oh, and compresses yeah. faster. All oh, these yeah. years. But only when it's like uh, active reloaded. I mean, yeah. Even so, it was it was nasty. If you actually had a legit turbo controller user, like <laughs> noticeable. It's ridiculous <laughs> how fast. Yeah. yeah. That's the thing with triggers. They're not buttons, and you can't press them as far enough as fast. But I mean, that's that's also the thing with triggers and lag, because like lag would confuse people to feel like. Someone who was maybe just pressing it fast was also modding it. So it was a weird time. <laughs> I, I feel old talking about this shit. You know what's funny? Like one of my old Gears of War buddies from literally the Gears of One days uh, texted me the other day, asked me how I was and everything. Oh, it was so sweet. I fucking like. Ugh, I wanted to cry. <laughs> the uh, uh, teenage memories are the strongest. For hey, real, mutation. I was, <laughs> I was a junior in high school at that time. <laughs> what is that? I don't know. You uh, in America? You kind of uh, use different oh, terms. Like, fuck. First like... year. Third, technically. I mean, I was what sixteen. That's when I would get my first first job. Oh, gee, man. Wait, when Xbox 360 came out? Yeah, like I'm no. Uh, 360 came out in 2005. That was 2007. Um, like I'm about to turn 30 this year. So. Oh man, I thought you were. Oh, we were the same age. Uh, how old are you? I'm uh, 33 this year. 
I don't know oh, why yeah, I thought we were no, like both 1988. Pretty younger. You're 1990? You're 91. You're as old as my brother. And you're actually younger than my oldest nephew. Oh, I'm gonna die so bad! Yeah, I'm kind of a baby still. Oh no, it's my just my family. Yeah. No, no, that came out wrong. I just, uh, my oldest I nephew mean... is four years younger than me, so who can imagine? <laughs> Well, it just goes into like how the whole world is run these days, so it's kind of ass backwards. Uh, Mutation disagrees. He says you're old. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh, well, he's not wrong. <laughs> but Mutation, even though he's being an ass by saying that, is a sweetheart. I'm in the gas. Fuck, fuck, fuck! I don't have good cover here. I cannot. Oh, there we go. Lined up a headshot. Ooh, that was close. What the fuck? Kill that guy. Are we... Cole! Okay, oh, okay, there we go. Mind. I thought we were supposed to like, do something in those five seconds. I was like, what the fuck am I doing? Oh, yeah. Here I remember comes. this because the animations is a little different. Giant fucking worm of... Death. Scarlet <laughs> yeah, is the best. To say that. Yes, yeah, she is. The best? Hell no. You're the best around. <laughs> There's so much that's gonna keep me down. <laughs> it's only human. <laughs> oh, when Cole tells you, man, you gotta listen. If Cole doesn't want to fight, fight them. I mean, seriously, dude. I mean, to be honest, like. Carmine didn't slow them down at all. It was like three seconds. Yeah. But you know, all the explosions and everything, he got one bullet. And uh, and yeah. dies the stupidest death of all the Carmines. And it hits him it hits this. like in the armor. Yep. And to be honest, this death is like not deserved at all. Nope. We're gonna find him like melted or something later. Not yeah, digested. like... Yeah. I'm not kidding, Ben is a beast. Like, he fucking had this shit, like, down. He was the best car, mate. <laughs> Honestly, Wait, the, the no. Flashback? Actually, Lizzie is the best car, man. I brought you breakfast. Oh, yeah, I forgot about her. Can you see Dom's yeah. flashback? Yeah, I'm, I'm watching it right now. Huh. Are you not seeing it? Yeah, I am. I'm just wondering. Maybe it's just a dumb thing. Oh, yeah, no. This isn't Dead Space 3. Yep, yep. <laughs> that. Oh, imagine that, like, seeing Maria and then suddenly it's Marcus. Oh, Jesus, fuck. <laughs> oh, mutation. What a sweetheart. Tell me we aren't where I think we are. Hate to tell you, Dom. Thanks for dropping by, mutation. I know. He's here. He came to see us off to war. Sniff. <laughs> it's to see us off to war. I didn't mean to say that. Where's my hearts? Oh, this! This is just perfect! Hey, Beard. We're inside a giant worm! Now what the cards name was supposed <laughs> to do? Come on, man, let's just cut our way out this bitch! This was now, probably like the most amusing it, part, like to way. most people who played what? this game for the first time. It's very creative. Everything is pulsing. If you look at all the w walls, are actually it's like if you compare it to the first one, yeah, it's on, definitely go. more creative. Oh, blah, blah, blah. am oh I drowning in poop? God. Like, what is that? Like stomach acid? Should that have like burned their esophagus by like falling into it? Yeah. Like their skin? <laughs> like. Oh boy. But only digests rocks, Scarlet. Gee, get with the program. Oh, and that's like the uh, yeah, digestion too. Yeah, excuse me for not knowing my giant worm digestive <laughs> uh, <laughs> science here. I'm probably fucking this up. Okay, never mind. I did good. Yeah, it's easy to die here if you don't time it. Oh, shit, shit, shit. This one only, you have to like, run under it, right? 
Yes. Good. You just have to not run into a wall. Because otherwise like you'll this. stand up and get crushed. I just exploded. Oh. <laughs> I like didn't that. even see the wall. <laughs> I don't know what you did, but you probably did it. I just exploded running. <laughs> That's okay, let's try again. Uh, yeah. Hey, take two. Electric. Oh, wait, what? What is. Huh? It says press RT to begin and then booted me out. I don't. I don't know. Like, I literally reloaded the checkpoint. Wait, are you still here? Yep. Press here? RT to begin. I'm pressing RT. It's Wait, good. it keeps. You might have to reload this entire. Okay, we'll see. <laughs> it's not me. It's just a game with Dagger. I'm not pressing it. <laughs> okay, yeah. We'll I'm going to restart the menu. chapter. Because, yeah. like, no, yeah. As soon as like I start it, it's like three seconds I turn around. <laughs> so. You're I just dead. see press RT to begin and it reloads again. Maybe I died. Maybe I'm in a death loop. <laughs> okay. Let's just let's calm down. We got this. this Excellent. Perfect. Good one. We're inside a giant worm. Now what the cards name are we supposed to do? Come on, man. Let's just cut our way out this bitch. Now. Cool. We <laughs> then we cut our way. No. What? This is what sinking the city. This is our to As you can see, the architecture is all around. You know, it's funny, like, are you comfortable playing Dom? Because, like, next game, I'd rather you play Marcus. Well, I can do either. I just played Dom less. Yeah. That's why I asked you to host these games. Because I wanted to see from his perspective. But. Because it's like, okay, so, like, what is it? Honestly, from here on out, like, after Gears 2, I'd rather you play, or you host the games. Okay. Because, like, I'd mind. rather play... I'd rather play... What is it? So I get to be Beard in uh, Judgment? Yeah, because, like, second player is Cole, which is fine. Because, like, I'd prefer to play Cole over there. No offense. Um, but, like... What is no it? offense? After judgment. <laughs> okay. Here's, I mean... I see the wall, okay. Here's... What is it? What's after Judgment? Here's... Or... I'd no! Rather Definitely, did you die? I tried to do a quick spin and I did a no, back roll. Yeah, and you have to, you have to just run like the entire time. Just no, I just wanted to buy myself down. time for the, for the, because they don't start running right away, right? So I wanted to back out and do this, actually this, but you have to hold the button, hold back in a. Okay. Take three. I mean, there's no rhyme for take three. There's only a rhyme for take two. What is it? Electric Boogaloo. <laughs> I heard that's the name. That's what's going to be the name of uh, it's, Resistance It's two. the name of some movie. <laughs> there we <go>. Yeah. <laughs> Resistance 2. Electric Boogaloo. Yeah. Has a nice ring to it. Has a great ring to it. All right, so you good? Like, are you are you good? Yeah, I'm can getting you, into the grinding teeth now. Just aiming my way through. Okay, straight here. There's coal. You just hold down that A button and don't yeah, let yeah. go. There we go. There a wall? I don't see a wall. There we go. Nailed it. What's this here? Okay. No. Next. God damn it, Scarlet. Every time I want to pick up a weapon, you teleport me. <laughs> it was a Gorgon. You hate that weapon. Okay. Okay, then. Keep watch for Carmine. If we made it, he might have to. Oh, I might die. Oh, wait. Now I'm good. Yeah, there's space between the teeth, so it's good. Avoid the digestive teeth. Think this might be the heart? Mission complete. There's no arteries or veins. No, this is something else. Yeah, but what? There's something up ahead. The fuck are you? Digestive ticks. I don't know. Which is weird, because, like, they never introduced these things, like, outside of the worm. Which yep. I get, but it's like, you could have had them in, like, board mode or something. Well, I have even a Lancer, Gear 3 yeah. had like the uh, explosive list tickers. Yeah, I will start off with default weapons when I restart chapter. 
Hmm, okay, that might be good, but we lost the sniper. Did we? Lost my sniper, but I don't think it would carry well, over. Let's just look at him for a minute, then we'll help him. Yeah, honestly, like, Gears of War 4 had it right, like, the Lancers without a stock looks fucking weird nowadays. <sighs> Poor, Poor ben. Ben. He's such a sweetie. Just hearing him say, like, I hurt Sarge is, like, ugh, heartbreaking. Mm -hmm. This call hold call solves problems. Angry call is angry. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> I love I love like the friendship between Cole and Baird. It's yep. so cute. Yep. It's so bro. <laughs> the breed. Okay. Right. I have no idea where the hell I'm going, so I'm just running. So. I think we just need to move because that thing is falling behind us. Falling behind. Yeah, I don't know. It's one of those like. Left and right. Left oh. and right. Uh, it's like the Crash Bandicoot like level where you get chased by the, by the snowball. Never actually played that. What, Shoot this? the anus. Where? Oh, okay. I was looking at the wrong thing. Shoot the anus, shoot the <laughs> anus. I mean, that's what it looks like. Don't fucking tell mm -hmm. me it doesn't. <laughs> it does. It does. I think it takes the cake when JD cake gets scooped. Gets... It's four or five, was it? Four or five, was it? Oh, it's gotta be four. You know what I mean. Ah. Oh. Shit Help. for you. Help! Help me! What is hurting me? The grass? The grass? Oh yeah, you definitely want to stay away from that. It's like digestive tendrils. Or oh okay, cool, fair. That's cool. Just fucking run past me. <laughs> every, every man for himself. Shoot the anus. anus. Again. I want an active reload. Oh wait, reload. that means I have oh, a Nasher. Fuck have a Nasher. Fuck the... It's much better. Much better. You'll definitely want to shoot, like, for the anus and shit. Uh, where the hell am I going? I have no idea. Over there. Over there. Teetering wait, vehicle. Oh, we have to shoot, yeah. Tethering. There we go. Oh, the sound effects oh, when they the blow up. The Foley guy had a lot the of fun with this game. <laughs> Probably. Nice. Nice. Your asshole, Your asshole. Mio. About time. What was that? Yeah, as long as it's physiology plays by the rules. Wait, I saw it again. I saw it again. Hold on. I'll shoot left, you shoot right. Oh, never mind. Okay. You said right? Okay. You said right? Okay. Never mind. I'm going, I'm going, I'm going. Are you, going, wait, are you with me? No, I'm, no, so I'm, over here, so can I even pass here, this digestive pass spray? Where are you? Can run Where through. are you? Nope. Oh, can. Nope. nope. I guess okay. not. I of tried. Of course not. No, I you tried. have, you have to shoot it. Oh. Uh, you're with uh, me. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Okay, here, follow me. Alright, so it's like you shoot it, it stops, run. What about the right path? What's there? No, what I'm saying is, like, I shoot the left one, you shoot the right one. And then you go. Didn't work. What happened? They just Wait. ran through, I died. <laughs> Hmm. Okay. No, there was another That's path weird. where we start. There's a lower path that goes down. Well, I mean, like, I'm sure there's two paths you can take. Okay. Would you will just take I the think. same? That's what I'm asking. Yeah. And there, 
closed for a few seconds. I forgot this part completely. Oof, Again? I get, yep. Hold on, sit, wait a second. I get stuck on the bots or something. What a weird digestive system. Almost as if it is an arcade video game level. <laughs> right? It's weird. How do you get food to be sprayed at certain locations? Ooh. Oh shit, we gotta like find out eh? or get out of here. I have no idea where I'm going. Yeah, we just gotta run. Just wherever the holes are, go there. Left? I yeah, guess. Sure. Wait, shit. <sighs> Can't see. We gotta get the hell out of here! Alright, Delta, we gotta be close. Fuck yeah! Dude, close your mouth. <laughs> yeah, seriously. Like, oh, wow, that would wow, drive wow. me crazy. <laughs> <laughs> every, every time I played this part, I'm like, dude, shut your mouth. Like, that's so gross. <laughs> that's why I think Igor Raptor was spot on with, Where's my life? <laughs> Pretty much. Yeah, I have weird. I guess the game doesn't allow me to touch you because whenever I touch you, on, I just get displaced. Like, no, that's... no, that's not the game. That's like a certain option I like made in the game. <laughs> 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 it's like no touchy. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Obviously. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Run for the heart. Okay, you're the heart oh surgeon. God, that's so gross. There's another uh, one there. That's so gross. Yeah. You got Move, it, Jack. One. The chamber's filling with blood. Nasty. That's what happens when you. The chamber's filling with blood. Oh, okay. Oh, the this Wait, Where are we going? This oh, thing. Oh, okay. Glad that's over. Now we can cut our way out this bitch. Good job, Delta. One dead worm. But it still has red blood, I like Wait, that. <laughs> I still hear a hard God damn it. Which would make it uh, similar to... Earth Mammal. <sighs> uh, Krogan. Oh, okay, yeah. That too. A Krogan. Nice, nice, good, great reference there. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we do have Mass Effect coming out today. Or at least the Legendary Edition. Which I know, me and Joseph already said, like, we're just gonna, like, completely destroy when it comes out. I'll finally play, uh, the third game. It's a shame you never played it. I was just disappointed by, uh, is this gonna open where I'm with these guys? No, they just wait, huh? Um... Uh, I was disappointed by the second one with by a few things, so I never got oh, really? the. Uh, yeah, I didn't like. So the first one was like a good Bioware RPG, you know. But then the second one, you can see uh, the I EA influence. A normal Bioware RPG. What? I don't know. All right, so like I remember when I played Knights of the Old Republic or tried to play it, I got pissed because I had a lightsaber. I literally shoved it in some dude's face, and it said miss, and I said fuck this and everything that is <laughs> RPG logic. <laughs> yeah, I, I was pissed. I was so fucking pissed off when I saw that. I was like, no, fuck this. This is so stupid. Um, so, Mass Effect 1 was fine. It was average. 
But Mass Effect 2, I felt like, actually improved. Like, hey, if you want to shoot someone and, you know, aim with the gun, this is how it's supposed to work. And I'm like, yes, I agree. When you shoot someone, they die. Especially if you hit them, they die. <laughs> That's why I liked Mass Effect 2. Uh, a lot of, honestly, it's arguably, like, a lot of people love Mass Effect 2. They say I know. it's the best. I know. I heard that. I don't get it, but I get it. <laughs> um, I don't I get it personally, it? but I get why. I guess, I guess, because Mass Effect Three had a lot of shit going on. I mean, it was literally like in quotes the big war with the Reapers. Mass Effect Two had that weird kind of like middle ground where you weren't quite at the war yet. You were just in this sort of pseudo peace era and you can really kind of explore the um the world and i think a lot of people really like that because one kind of set up the world two you got to like kind of go in more in depth and i feel like a lot of people love that and then three you were just fighting the whole time yeah i never touched three i don't know anything about it uh that's a sh that's that's a damn shame. I love three. My biggest gripe was that I loved the shooting mechanics of Mass Effect One. It was a great uh, mishmash because I came from old Final Fantasies four, six, one and two. You know, and, uh, I mean, it just uh, you had this. The way the shooting worked was you had infinite ammo, but every weapon had a different cooling and heating period and all that. And in 2, they were like, yeah, it's still like that, except now we have coolant clips. Well, for all intents and purposes, EA, that's fucking ammo. You shouldn't lie to my face. It's just one thing, you know, that really annoyed me. Then suddenly we have ammo? I don't want to have ammo in F Mass Effect. I, I, I enjoy being strategic and not... If I want to play a shooter, I'll play a shooter. I guess I see that and I don't at the same time because like when you think about the games that were coming out at that time at that day and age like Mass Effect 1 is outdated it is so outdated Even that's why at I that loved time, it it was so kind of outdated <laughs> I guess like if you like enjoy outdated things sure don't get me wrong not bad but when it comes to a lot of people like games were advancing pretty rapidly at that time um, and Mass Effect 2, like, kind of paved the way, I almost kind of feel like. Uh, they definitely made it, like, pretty... And not, you know, not including all the other mechanics of Mass Effect 1, like the... What was it, the Mako? The, the Mako, tank oh my god, I love that. Like, did, did, really? <laughs> yeah, everybody hates actually like that. Love, yeah, I love that. Oh I spent god. hours I and hours in that my... I want to point my face at the cannon and pull the trigger. I fucking <laughs> hated the Mako uh, so goddamn much. So I heard from a lot of people, including oh Mutation, I God, think. I hate it. But yeah, I mean, it's just... I feel like they took everything that was bad about Mass Effect 1 and improved on it. And I like that. It was a more modern game, but... Uh, that's the, that's it actually. It was like you actually said it excellently. Mass Effect 2 was updated for the new generation and what was going on at that time. And uh, yeah, that's it. That's what probably bothers me because it was a sudden switch. Maybe if one started like two, I wouldn't mind it. But I got used to because I played them in succession, right? The, Second game I bought for 360. So first, actually third. First one was Borderlands 2. Second was Gears 2. Third mm -hmm. one was Mass Effect. And uh, I immediately bought Mass Effect 2. Uh, that's the only game I ever got like in package mint. And I started playing it. Mm -hmm. I did enjoy it. I won't lie. I didn't. I I really enjoyed it. But I didn't like some of those changes because I came from a different game and suddenly, well, this is the same. When did you shit out the fucking coolant clips? Where did that came from? <laughs> That's so weird because I was the total opposite. So like, I remember trying out Mass Effect 1, I want to say in like 20, 2009 or 2010. And I was bored. I got so fucking bored. 
Like, the first time I was on the Citadel, I said, fuck this, I'm bored, I hate this. I didn't touch it. Until 2011, summer of 2011. And I was like, alright, I'm gonna try it again. Give it and I played it, and I was, yeah, I was like, okay, you know, that was fun. Like, I enjoyed that a little bit more. And then, because, twenty, you know, it was 2011, like, um... Mass Effect 2 was already out and already had his DLC and everything. Oh, sorry, so there he like, is. Okay. Niles, that's Niles, right? Oh, Niles, yep. Is he dead at this time already, oh, right? Oh, wait, until he's dead. Mm -hmm. It's weird, because they, like, connect Gears 2 and Gears 5 together, and it's quite a gap. Is, But this is not the same lab. The, the other lab is in Mount... What the fuck? No, it is different. Kadar's nearby, but it's not the same lab. Okay, thank you. But they do visit this lab in Gears 5. You'll tell me about if it when we sense. play. I yeah. like Connection exactly. Store games. Exactly. I would really appreciate that. Okay. Okay, so you were saying? Oh, yeah. Uh, so, summer 2011, I beat like Mass Effect 1, and I had a good time. I thought it was good. Uh, and then Mass Effect 2 came out, and I was literally only doing the prologue uh, when the ship was exploding. And I remember, like, when you're in the CIC, and the ship's, you know, kind of falling apart, I looked up, and I saw, like, the open space and everything, and the planets nearby, and I was like, fuck, like, I love this already. This is amazing. And I was only like five minutes in the game, so I was like, "Hell yeah!" Instantly. And block. honestly, it's just, yeah, it's it was 2011. The shit from 2000 and whenever it came, you know, Mass Effect One came out. It was outdated at that point in time. Like it's just, it didn't work. I mean, this was right before Gears Three came out. Well, that's my point. We already have a Gears... Oh, look, a switch. No, yes. but I mean, like... Should we try that door again? Is Gears wrong for having a good mechanic? Sorry, is Gears... Do you really need everything to have, like, um... Like, uh, this is literally a general question. Uh, in terms of games in general. But it's like, do you really need everything to have, like... Uh, diversity? In what way? Or, like, in gameplay way, or... I mean, in... I guess gameplay way, and I'm not like picking or attacking at anything that you enjoy. But, like I'm legitimately curious. Like, does that matter if uh, you know they already had gears or you know like, is that really a factor? If they already had gears. But I mean, like Mass Effect improved on its own style of gaming and storytelling. Is that really a bad thing? That they implemented a more interesting gameplay to most uh, audiences? Well, that's the thing, to most audiences. So, it's not, a, yeah. I, not that I don't like Mass Effect oh, 2. Of course I, it's I not like gonna... some bits of it. I love yeah, that of course my it's decision. Not appeal to everyone. Yeah, yeah. Because that's how everything works, right? Even like mm -hmm. any classic, like even take Ocarina of Time, for example, there are people who are going to be like, this is shit. No, this is just uh, It was funny. Um, what was it? The Gears of Awesome guy? He literally made a video complaining about Ocarina of Time. Yeah, yeah, I know. I know it. When he said oh, okay, yeah. Yeah. I love that one. Sequelitis. That's, yeah, yeah that, that's actually a good video. It, it's, it is. It's a fun he's watch. right. He's right, though. He, but yeah, I, he's but it's wrong. still... It was know. good at the time, but... Yeah. I know what you mean. I, I, I'm not saying it's a horrible game, Mass Effect 2. It's just... It's like, my issue is playing Super Mario. You're playing Super Mario Brothers, a side-scrolling platformer. And you you can't wait for Super Mario 2. You're so pumped, and they give you GTA. Which is a great game, but you were oh, looking for wait, Super Mario. what? I'm sorry. That's what it felt like to <laughs> wait, me. Wait, which Super Mario is GTA? N none <laughs> of them, that's analogy. the point. Okay. <laughs> I mean, I wouldn't really say it goes that far. Like, that's that's kind of exaggerating, in my opinion. Well, but, I um, never do that, Scarlet. When do I exaggerate? You heard wrong. I mean, what? you literally just did. No, that never happens. You just invented that. That never happened. <laughs> <laughs> okay. 
I was so it's funny because I always logic. exaggerate. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, but no, I, I like kind of get what you're saying at the same time. Oh, uh, wait, we have to actually like kill these things or else they'll blow up. Yeah, we oh, have to spin God, around. I forgot. Yeah, I forgot how this works. Oh, I can't melee from the, this. Uh, we're probably gonna blow up. I can't even see where I'm aiming because the aim is off from this perspective. Okay. Uh, what year did this game come out? 2008? Which one? No, Gears 2. I'm trying to like get my all my other like games and game releases in perspective. It's like... Yeah, after years and years it all gets a little mixed. Mm -hmm. You mentioned like Knights of the Old Republic. That's still on my playlist. I though. played like literally an hour if that of the game. And as soon as I got my first lightsaber, I swung it at some dude and said miss. I said fuck this and I turned the game off and never played it again. But how did you play Final Fantasy X then? You can like go do a super Hadouken <laughs> sword and it'll be like mm, miss. Guy had a protection. <laughs> I mean, that's, I guess that's it, literally Japanese here, RPG. No, no, we're supposed to go th there. You're going the wrong way. We're supposed to go through the store. Oh, yeah. There's a... It's, it's oh. because, I guess, it's that's a JRPG. That's literally a Japanese Over here. RPG. What's this? Not, not, no, we're not going that way. We're going the other way. That's where we came from. Okay. We're supposed to go this way. Because that's a JRPG, not a WRPG. That's why it pissed me off. Uh, you're still going the wrong way. You have to stop. Spin around. around. One okay, of us has all to right. spin. Stop yeah. it. I, stop it. I'm not doing anything. Just don't move. And now we go God. there, right? This way. Where I'm shooting. No. Oh, no, okay. Still... Oh, okay. Fine. You good now? Mm -hmm. no, we're good. Okay. Yeah, but it, it's it's a JRPG versus a WRPG, and they're honestly so different. Bioware did the first two Fallout games, right? I never played the first two. Fallout 3 is my first uh, Fallout. Hang yeah. On. We're turning backwards. We need to. We need to move at the same now. time or start at the same time. That's so weird. It yeah. works different. Then in Gears 4 when you're carrying the thing. Yeah, Gears 4 is so easy. Flip flip. We literally have to follow each other now in order you to... You have to just... Behind uh, us, that's why. Behind us. I'm trying to spin. That guy. Thank you. And okay. he got smacked. I guess they're just gonna keep coming. Jammed. I have bastards behind me. A spin, spin! I can't see. Oh, okay. We I died. can't see anything. Okay, I guess that. Uh, <laughs> Oof. Alright, we got Follow right, Jack. Right. Fuck everything else. Yep. Well, I don't know about that. We actually do have to kill the uh, wretches. Yep. Let's spin, uh, yeah, counterclockwise and do like back to back. Thank you. All <laughs> with the box uh, behind Brooklyn us. Nine -Nine. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you. Okay, okay. We have to straight down now. Oh, fuck out of here. <laughs> like I never walked a day in my life. <laughs> okay, now, Where are now we I have going? to. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Fuck, I don't know how this works. Can we drop it? Like, can we, can we have I the option? I wish. Oh my god, I wish we could. No, we do not. I don't remember this though. being this hard. <laughs> oh, I remember being pretty annoying. How did I do Especially this with on Sasha? Anything. I'm sure you had, like, tons of patience. You're running into a wall. It's You're running into a wall. <laughs> on my, well, what the fuck is going on? you drove me into a wall. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so this is right. the part where the game wants us if to fight, can. like obviously wants yeah. us to fight. <laughs> I'm stuck on the door. Oh god, it's just a box. So we fought fucking war, we survived the underground, the giant worm, and then the box defeats us. <laughs> <laughs> That's the one way to look at it, yeah. Fuck you! Ah, oh, shit. 
I mean, couldn't you have like a little shotgun instead of these... Or like a Colt? Mm. I would have gone for a Colt now. Well, technically, yeah, you could have had the Bulldog. Ah, shit, I can't run. Spinning? Good. Nice, okay. Okay. Uh, now we have to just... Okay, yeah, I think Oh my god, every time okay. I see Niles, I wanna I wanna know his story, but I, at the same time I wanna kill him. There's always shit like this in his vicinity. It's actually not too bad in Gears 5. I love this though, I uh... It's... The... What's it called? Like the healthy dose of peer challenge that we have so many games that we like with the same passion, but then there's a game that we have opposing opinions i mean it definitely does make a good fresh perspective mm -hmm. like and i said I'm for gears say... 5 oh nice i want to read this one to all new oh, hope shit. employees yeah, from last time ways to deal with prying questions oh never mind it's just political i thought it's gonna talk oh about yeah its purpose. <laughs> no i mean like I don't know. I'd say hold off your opinions for now until we actually go through Gears 5. Maybe it's because I was hold excited on. about Kate hold getting her first game. I don't know, because like... I thought it was really good. I had no real complaints other than the um, double ending kind of thing. My biggest complaint with Gears 5 is all the shoved in political correctness like all, where did you come with that we're in a fucking war suddenly we're doing pc it's not it doesn't have place in this game just like in borderlands Depending, 3, right? what what specifically are you talking about here i'm talking about kate being a great character and then suddenly be a, keep uh, she had those moments like i'm a, a woman i can do it nobody said you can't do it i was supporting you this that, whole time that's a pretty touchy subject, I'm not gonna lie, because, like, it it's not the fact that they're doing it to shove the PC culture in your face, but at the same time, they're doing it because no one else has done it before. And that's what I kind of love about it. Like, in a game that's as bloody and violent as Gears, they don't have women representation. And, I mean, when you really think about it... Anya is the only woman, I think is, you mean. Is... Like, is Marcus really, like, that special? He's just another fucking white dude. Like, who the fuck cares at this point? Like, how many white fucking men do we really need in our games to, like, cry about it? Like, no, like, I'm not trying to attack your opinion here, but at the same time, it's like, I, I really hate... Ooh. Oh, shit. Ha, okay, fuck, I can't get to you. That's a turret. Like, fuck that. Can you go um, to the no, corner? but I yeah. really... Yeah, maybe I can just call it backwards. Okay. <laughs> I really hate that argument of like PC culture infecting whatever you know A, B, C, or D. Like, okay, that uh, put it back up again. Oh, sorry, I thought I did. Yep. Um. Yeah. No. Like, I. I really. I don't know. I just. I. I hate that argument because. It's like I get it if they did it again, time and time and time again, but. They haven't. There's no example for you to draw upon in that argument. Example of? There's no... Well, I'm saying, like, there's no game where they're just like, Hey, like, girl power, like, let's fucking do it. Like, okay. In when is that ever or happened? in general? In general, both, I guess. Like, if you don't like PC culture and gear, sure, but when have they ever said... Women can or cannot do this thing. It hasn't just, been done yet. No, Gears is just a different world. That some games definitely <laughs> make sense. Like, I think Yuna was a good representation in FF10 of exactly that. But in the last Yuna year, was Facebook, good, but I mean, for her know, time, when it for comes... 2000, yeah. Ooh, God, fire, fire, such fire, a fire. This is such like a weird. Um... Because, because like when it comes to Japanese culture, don't draw from it. Don't take any example from Japanese culture. Because I'm not saying they're bad. I'm not saying they're good. They well, have penny machines. 
They have panty machines. The what so machines? That's not really some real? panty machines. Really? Yes, really. You can buy panties from vending machines. This is really not something we should actually take examples upon. So, yeah, we're gonna go this way. So, I don't know, it's just... We'll see when we get to Gears 5. Like, everything you said makes sense in the previous sessions. Oh, nice. Uh, and like I said, so when I was small and um, I would like to share music with my dad, and mm -hmm. I asked him why he likes some music uh, that I just thought it was stupid. And he said, you know, it might grow on you later, but the best kind of music will sound stupid at first and then you'll love it later. And that applies for video games as well. So I don't know, we'll see. It's pretty yeah, possible I mean, it's the case with that. I'm not gonna lie, like, I am a little biased when it comes to just female representation in music, games, in general. Mm -hmm. But it just depends on the arguments being made. The argument about PC culture? No, I don't know. Like, nine times out of ten, I do, do not agree with that. What about Borderlands 3? <laughs> Bubblegums and... <laughs> Borderlands 3 is the one exception. Like, I would I would honestly just be like... Oh God, I don't even know how to say this. Like, Borderlands 3 had, like, the worst fucking writing of all time. Do not bring anything political into the concept of Borderlands 3. Like, if you try to, sure, I can see where you're coming from. But if you, if you literally just remove all political aspects in Borderlands 3, it's still a garbage story, so you can't even say the political. Yeah, that's of definitely that not what. The story. Yeah, but it's one of the aspects that was just. What? Yeah. I think that's it. I think so, at least for the turrets. What a maze! It's supposed to be a lab. Jeez. Yeah. Well. I'm sure they had signs in the places running. <laughs> running gauntlets. Maybe Niles and Spencer were friends. Oh god, I think I told the story last time. Or I don't know who I told it to, but like... You know, whenever you press the switch, it says like security system deactivated or whatever. Yeah. I remember there's this one guy who was like pretty good at the game. Who was deaf? And there's one multiplayer map where they had like lasers. Huh. And you, you know, there's like an alarm that would play whenever the lasers were about to come back on. He was not able to tell that. <laughs> So, like, sometimes oh. he'd be running into the area where the lasers would be, but he would see that they weren't there, and then all of a sudden they would appear there. And you don't have time to move, I guess. Well, he he just, there was no way for him to tell, because he was deaf. So he couldn't hear teammates' warnings, he couldn't hear the game's warnings. It was awful. I can't imagine, because yeah. I don't know if I'd be able to play anything without sound. Without picture, sure, without sound. Like you said, it's it's hard to imagine. Oh, I got burned. Fuck your security system. Razor hail. <laughs> Can it get right, more get butch? <laughs> Atomic yeah, razor hail. <laughs> going going back to the whole PC argument, someone said it like really good in one tweet, I think it was. Um he was saying like, you know, I'm a straight white male or whatever, and he appreciates um power down these turrets. Those games and um times where a, a game or story or whatever would. Our concept of security is quite safe. What was it? They would represent someone from a lower class or a minority 
um, because he's seen nothing but straight white males in almost every story or movie or game or whatever and he's just like uh, I'm honestly tired of it there's no representation for what the hell oh, wow what happened he's saying that hey you just got fucked that's what happens okay can uh, you tell remind me just what we're doing here so I can do it uh, you're the... supposed to hit the switch so I can pass you hit mm, switch so I can pass her yeah there was one so... activatable Okay. Mm -hmm. Uh, so he's saying like, yeah, like for those, for that one person who's, you know, like maybe a gay black man or something, who has no representation, like, why not give him something? Like, why not give him at least one game or one movie or one show to reflect on? I'm sorry, I don't get you. They don't have... Like, they're not... I mean, when you come to most characters? games, movies, and TV shows, what are the main characters? Some straight white male. Right? Huh, I don't see it like that, because... Uh, I only, mean, we that's only how have... America sees it. Yeah, because I've seen, like, Blade, first thing that comes to mind, I don't know. I can think of I mean, a lot more. If you're if you're picking and choosing, sure, you can find like maybe one or two examples. But if you're literally talking, if you're thinking about the entire media genre as a whole, and like a lot of like shows, movies, games as a whole, your main protagonists are straight white males with blonde hair, or blue eyes, or just blue eyes and whatever. Um, blue eyes. That oh yeah. Okay. Yeah. Blue eyes is very common. So, when you have those games that have that Hispanic girl representation, like Gears 5, or uh, gay black dude representation, wherever, like, what about those people who can connect to that? Like, do they not deserve some sort of representation? Like, oh, it's not that. Is that, PC that culture I'm... that bad? Like, no, it's I don't it's not that that I'm that I'm, a, that I'm uh, like saying you know what's shoving it. It's that I don't know, kind of just do it. Don't make a big deal out of it. They, I love them all the same. The story is what is. But did they important. did they make a big deal about it, or did internet culture make a big deal about it? Because I really don't remember the coalition advertising. Uh, Gears 5 is, hey, you get to play as a Mexican woman in this game. That was literally the internet that did that. That's a fair point. I I was talking from my perspective playing with uh, Kate no, from Gears no, 4. No, not, like, I'm not at all, like, saying anything you said or thought was, like, different. I'm just saying, like, from an American perspective, from the people who made this exact same argument, this is how I see it. I understand. It's, I guess it's also different culture, because in Serbia, mm -hmm. we just, we don't have any ethnical, it's just like white people, some of them are a little darker, because we were enslaved by the Ottoman Empire for a long time, so there's been mixing, mm -hmm. but... It's not like the ra racism and like, you know, that kind of stuff that I see on the internet in the Western world. It's not a thing over here. As oh, such, yeah. Just... But I mean, when you have universal websites like Reddit and stuff that kind of... How should I say this? Um, imprint a certain represent or like a certain way in your mind. It's not always the case. If that makes sense. You mean if you read the uh, one and the same so many times that it becomes the truth? Yeah, I guess. It's like Reddit is that one website that every country, every state, whatever, everyone reads. Yeah, I mean, you have posts on Reddit who are just saying, like, why do we always tend to like American politics so much? And then you have other Reddit posts that are super popular that are literally in all German, and you have no idea what the fuck they're saying. Um, because <laughs> he's a German. <laughs> yeah, exactly. But I mean, what I'm what I'm getting at is like, 
the entire world reads these posts. So if you have a Reddit post that's super popular that says like, why are we uh, catering towards like PC culture or like, you know, Kate being a main character, yada, yada, yada. Well, like, why not? I mean, like, that, like, the argument against it is not as stable as the argument for it. Because the argument for it is like, well, fuck. It took five fucking, or six fucking games for us to even get this far. Why do we need another straight white male to be our protagonist? Ah, uh, JD. Okay, I see. Uh, he would be the alternative. I see. But I, I mean... JD is like the Ethan Winters of fucking Gears of War. Like, literally, what does he bring to the table that Marcus Phoenix or anyone did not bring beforehand? He is nothing in personality. He is nothing. He's just a smartass, and it's like anyone can do that. Yeah, he's only uh, he's uh, he's Marcus's son, so that kind of makes him like the successor, I guess. So he could have been an octopus as far but as. Yeah, he, he literally could have been yeah. fucking who the fuck knows, like purple or some shit. It wouldn't have mattered. But I don't know. it's when it comes to American politics and PC culture. By the way, I, wait, are we? Shit, I don't know where we're going. Um, there's so much stuff that's Ooh. like super sensitive. And when it comes to representation in like games, culture, TV show, media, that's that's pretty sensitive. I know that's like one of the main things I try to not to do when I when streaming is not have these conversations. Though we're oh, pretty. Oh, I'm sorry. No, 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 no. Yeah. It's okay because okay. you're pretty human about it, and uh, we're actually having a discussion, not a shout out, mm -hmm. like shouting at each other. Oh God, no. I wouldn't, because like I understand that from where I'm from, and from where you're from, things are viewed completely differently. Yeah, exactly. Thank you. Holy shit! You just did a whole bunch of surgery. <laughs> yeah, I did. <laughs> I was literally just holding the B button down. Oh, okay, this guy's on my ass. Oh, never mind. Uh, the sires and gears of war five are like much scarier. What are they called? Sires. Sire, like sire, like sir, or S I R E. So sire. like in British yeah. old sire, okay? I didn't know that. I don't Fuck. know why though. All I know is that in this game, when in doubt, change all that. Jump, jump, jump! I couldn't jump. Sorry. I can't orient where I am. I think I'm behind you. Yep. Thank you. Watch up. Move for fuck's sake. Not you. I mean Dom. <laughs> yeah, I know. He gets stuck like on weird stuff. I don't have a Lancer. This is my best friend. Alright, uh, we have to get on the other. Do we tap them? Yeah. We might get fucked. Oh, yeah. Let it go, let it go. He's uh, going for you, yeah. We, oh, we can't okay. let it go. <laughs> I guess once you grab the wall, that's it. Well, I'm back on it. No, you press, what was it, X? I think I pressed to get off of it. Yeah, okay, I see it. Stop it! Hang on, I saw this fucker. <laughs> no, 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 I'm just no, looking no. from behind, like blood spewing. Another one, another one. Are you serious? I think we just need to wait for all the containers to pop. I think so. Yep, there's another Unless one. Unless this can be like a Resident Evil 6 situation, where like, it will never stop. <laughs> well, there's a limited number of containers, so... You would think, but this is also video game logic we're talking about. <laughs> Do I hear more? Going once, going twice. Whew! Alright, okay, no, I think it. this is video game logic, so we have to go. I just think Shit. less of them pop on... Alright, I gotta so. go. 
<laughs> no, I fucked. That's it, that's it, that's Wait, it. what? Yep, we did it okay. in the last moment. <laughs> I went down. Yeah, I know. <laughs> but you just ran in. Like, fuck that. I don't like it. I'm guessing this is it. Look around for a switch or a power supply. 99. Marcus loves this shit up. Yeah. He says it when killing, when doing objectives. Mm hmm. He's an old man, you gotta understand him. He keeps thinking about sleep. Probably slept for years in the prison before one. So, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and say it. Like, I apologize for being somewhat political, but. I like our conversation, so. Yeah, as long as we're civil, it's okay. Uh, oh, yeah, definitely. I won't get upset. Like, almost ever. I'm trying to be open to all things, so even when I disagree with something, uh, I'm, I've learned and still like learning, I think that's something you keep for life, to uh, quiet down that monkey in my brain that wants to just go, ooh, ooh, ah, 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 and hmm. actually uh, look what at others. What the fuck is happening? Oh my god, what is happening? Where's, where are you? You flew away. <laughs> I'm like behind the slope. There's like a flamethrower and then machine gun at the some other time. shit happened. Yeah. I'm throwing a grenade out there. Fuck. Same here. Oh. Okay. I don't think they like that. Shit, he's still alive. Can I execute him? Oh, fuck, 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 fuck. They have flamethrowers too. Mm -hmm. Nobody said they have weapons. Flamethrowers are really bad. Or yeah. Really nasty, I mean. When they're pointed at me, yes. When they're pointed at them, not so bad. Nasty. <laughs> Actually, well, I don't know. Like in multiplayer, it's pretty. Gross. Yeah, it's different yeah. against humans. Oh, fuck! 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 Come on. Did you say die, fucker? He might have. Nice. Grenade. It's harder now than ever that we're all connected to the internet. So like, that's, my parents didn't yeah. have to think about this shit. They just had to think what's going on in Serbia, back then Yugoslavia, right? So they did exactly. They would read newspapers, now. be like, hmm, yeah, too bad, and just move on with their lives. But now I'm mm -hmm. talking to you here from a different culture, seven hours different time zone. And we all... Yeah, and we're playing this same game, and you're just like, I don't understand. Why are they doing this? I'm like, well, when you have an American-made company. Oh, wait, this. the fucking turret is not my friend. Yeah, I just deactivated it coming. Well, he knows oh. you. <laughs> I, I didn't get a chance. Um, no, no yeah. you, uh, when no. You hit this... Yeah, when he hits the switch, it goes from either the far side or the middle. Okay, uh, so I just yeah. killed myself. Never mind. Good to know. I killed myself too, because I'm too stupid to be like, oh, the turret is my friend. No, it's not. The turret is not my friend. Oh, nasty. Why are they surprised? Locusts are wherever you go. That's the point of this game. Well, we were... What are we... I think we're outside the giant worm, which we killed. Ooh, oh, see? damn. That guy just straight up torture us. Mm -hmm. um, and then we went to a secret cog facility, so to be honest... Where are you? Yeah, but they can where dig, so it doesn't matter where we are. They'll dig their way through. <sighs> I don't know if they view the locusts as stinkers yet, maybe? I don't, I don't know. That's a good question. I think they're borrowers, because they live fucking underground. Most of the time, they treat the locusts like they're lesser beings, so it's like... Maybe they don't... That's maybe why they're angry. <laughs> yeah. Pfft, motherfucker. Something spoiled, I think it was a YouTube video that spoiled to me who, what locusts are, uh, before I even played Gears 4. Because remember, I'm always like... Five to ten years late with video games uh, due to the dollar exchange rate. So uh, it was uh, it was kind of disappointing because I hate spoilers. Let me know when to switch. It's on your side. Oh, why well, you just run? Oh, okay. You just you can just run past that. The turret should take care of those guys. 
Uh, for their head. Crawl to me. If I could see you. Shut up! She's gonna die. Like Fuck I said. Oh, no, I'm dead. He finished you. Yeah, I can see. I can just see your legs. You should just let the turret. You should let the turret just take care of them. There's no reason to fight them with the turret shooting them. Uh, it was on, but it, they were on the wall, so it didn't see them. You know, when the beam becomes mm. red, it didn't. They hide too. Okay. Try again. We are doing hardcore, are we? Right? That's like the hardcore. Yeah, we are. Yeah. No, this is like the. I don't know, this is like normal plus, I guess you can say. Well, what's Nightmare then? I thought the uh, hardcore well, is no hard nightmare. and they're just insane. Yeah, that. Uh, that's like very hard. Yeah, right? that's just that's just hard, I guess. I don't know, because I no, never in the first really game it was hardcore uh... to be like that hard. In the first game, first no, game the, had, the, the first game had casual, hardcore, and um, insane. insane. Yeah. This game has casual, normal, hardcore, and insane. Yeah, that's what I but, mean. Easy, normal, which hard, is kind of like Halo. But Halo's hardcore and Gears of War's hardcore is not really not that hard. Yeah. Yeah. I always found like it to be like casual or easy, um, normal, normal plus, and then hard. Normal plus and hard. Why not just hard and very hard like Resident Evil games? I, it's just because, like, hardcore doesn't really seem that hard sometimes. Like, you'll have some cases where it is kind of hard, but, like, in other cases, not so much. I know what you mean. Alright, so I'm hitting the turret. Um, just let the turret take care of them. Fuck them. Yeah, They're I'm not there. worth anything. Yeah. We'll just continue forward with the level. I'm just worried they'll push us from behind. They won't. Bolt them, not finally. Hello, head. Oh, okay. how does that even work? He's the flamethrower guy. I think he tries to take us with them when he runs with that leaking tank. Fuck yeah. Two. There's the flamethrower guy, watch out. I'm coming. Get her up! Shotgun. It's like I choose the wrong weapon every time. Whenever I switch the you? Yeah, I can see him. Oh. Smack in the face. Ooh, let me finish him. Let's try. What was it? Why? Yeah. yeah, why? Finally did an execution. That reminds me. If I down this guy, let me get him. Yeah. yeah. In Gears 4 and 5, uh, when I figured oh, it out, nice. I tried so hard to do all executions with all weapons. And <laughs> here I keep forgetting. And did Gears 5 have that achievement? Maybe it did. Possibly. No Gears 4 did. Maybe it was... I know... No, Gears I know 4 Gears definitely had it. Gears 3 did. I don't know about 5. I don't know about 4 or 5. 4 did, because I know I tried to get all of them. That's how I found out they're all different. And I thought that's where it started. I didn't know they were all different in the old games. Finally, Boltok got him in the head. Well, that and the Razor Tail. Oh, uh, uh, it was like that glass keeps falling. Well, how how big is that? Yeah, window? yeah, I remember this part now. I actually forgot a lot of Gears 2, considering how many times I played it. Where did you go? Right? Yeah. I went left. So. Yeah, uh, I, I was turned around. So I'm gonna go to the opposite side. What? That hurt. Thank you, Dr. Stephanie Zimmer. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna read these later. Like if this was a Red is well, like... a single player game, I would because normally when I play Silent Hill and Resident Evil games, I read all the files out loud with different voices. Oh uh, yeah. But yeah, it's not the That'd same with your call. <laughs> yeah, no, I mean like maybe another stream you can oh hi Mark. 
you could um do the uh like what am I trying to say here? Uh like get all the files like on casual or something. That's smart actually, because I try to go for everything and I am fuck it up. I try to go like very hard or file files friendly fire God's finger up my ass and of course it fails. Yeah, I know. You should do like one fucking shot and kill all the grubs and then get all the files. Maybe, I don't know. Because like it depends. Some Grenade people don't see like baby mode. Oh, that grenade didn't do shit. Like Unless you're doing like Resident Evil 1 Watch and you're doing like knife only. Sorry. I get excited. So right now I've started a series on the Resident Evil Outbreak and File 2. So both of them, where I play with a, with one character, whole first game, whole second game, then the next character, and then the next character, and uh, so I started like very hard with friendly fire, which in Outbreak File One is very possible. You can kill your teammates; they can kill you, uh, but we try not to kill each other, and it's doable. But File Two is so lo much longer and harder because they added things like moving and aiming and shooting at the same time, a first for the Resident Evil series, and a lot of improvements. Oh, yeah. So naturally, they made it harder. So doing that on very hard with friendly fire is suicide. So I <laughs> gave up on friendly fire. In the end, I was like, no. That very hard is hard enough. We don't need friendly fire, and everybody agreed. Thankfully, they're not as big masochists. <laughs> That's just an example. Because I like to try to get it all at once, but that's not how life goes. It just doesn't. Hey, Skylands. Hello. Ah! That's Gears of War 2, the sequel. It's a game that was. Uh, I'm gonna say highly inspired by RE4, in turn inspired RE5, which is pretty obvious. Uh, and that your fun. girl Scarlet's pretty good at. Yep. My teammate Scarlet here just headshot after headshot. I'm gonna go to the other one. No, no, no. What what oh, you do is work. you open this garage door to like create a pseudo roof. Mm -hmm. I knew okay, that. Yeah. I was just testing you. Are you sure? Like, mm -hmm, it, 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 it like, <laughs> does it seem like it is, but okay. Where are we going? Where am I? I was just testing to see if you will rescue me when I fuck up, and you didn't, so you failed. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine being dead, Patty. <laughs> Imagine being your mom. <laughs> I wouldn't. Cause like apparently that's what you think of me right now. <laughs> How did you? So uh, yeah. I guess we're doing separate ways suddenly. Wait, no. What? Where are I'm you? I'm coming. I spawned way. You just yeah. yeah. The game is about humans fighting this race called the Locust um, for just bare survival on a planet called Sarah. It's a very original story, it's interesting, it's got horror and shooter elements, it's got great co-op, amazing weaponry, great reload mechanic, which is this. Uh, you can't see it right now, I'm gonna turn off the cam. But... If I reload, press the button. Oh, I have nothing to reload. Just a sex car. So if I'm reloading, if I press it in that area over there, you can see those two bullets are flashing. Those two bullets are now supercharged for a time. So that, that just makes you, you know, shoot like an angel. It makes you reload like an angel. And good reloads, like they're called active reloads, can really change the game. I think that's like double damage or something with an active reload, right, Scarlet? It's. Either 1.5 or double, yeah. Yeah, they're probably defending on difficulty. Ow, 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 ow. Like, it definitely makes a difference in multiplayer if you bring it in. Yep. I remember that much. 
So how did you pass on the other side? I uh, just climb over this wall. I can't. Where are you? I'm there, but oh, finally. Sometimes it just won't. Maybe I was too close to it. So this is not Resident Evil 6 where you can fall on each other's heads. <laughs> you know what I mean. I'm sorry, 6. I had a great time with that game. It's very fun. I avoided it like plague for 7-8 years and finally my nephew uh, just like forced me to play it and I had a tremendous fun. Like, it's... I wish nah, it was I another game. Day one. <laughs> I wish it was another game because I don't feel Resident Evil in that game. I just I have a lot of fun, but I don't feel like I'm playing an RE game or like a game based upon mm. RE. But it, that it's fun. That is, I I mean, whatever people say and like it or don't like it, the gameplay is just so uh, varied. Uh, I love all the dodges and. Uh, rolls and all that shit you can do it makes it so much fun it makes you feel so powerful compared to like classic re where you're <laughs> i can't walk and shoot at the same time <laughs> i don't know i had a weird relationship with it i i guess it was kind of like sure this isn't the resident evil i want but i had a lot of fun with it as opposed to re7 where i'm like Ooh. what the fuck is this like this is well, yeah resident you don't evil like I seven wanted. Yeah, I remember that. We talked about that. No, I don't know. I really do not like 7. I think that first person is not... is definitely not what I want in a Resident Evil game. I think that Ethan is a shitty protagonist. I just do not like the direction that the Resident Evil series is going into with their mainstream games. I love Resistance, and I feel like we need to focus on games that are more similar to that. But Resident Evil 7 and 8 are fucking ass, and we need to steer away from that. Yep. I mean, uh, no, no, I, I, I hear, hear you, but I, <laughs> I love 7. Just love the, cause it gave me that uh, Resident Evil One, Two, Three. I can't see unless what games wants me to see feel that kind of scare. Mm, I love the. No, I do not agree. I feel like Seven is on the rails, and it's like, cause like with Resident Evil One, you had the option to explore the mansion that which you unlocked. With Resident Evil Seven, it was like, well, you had to keep unlocking each area. As you went, and the area was small, small as fuck. That was not a mansion. Yeah, that was literally a plantation. Small. Yeah. Um, that and... seems to be the thing with games lately: detailed but small. But like with Resident Evil Seven, it was literally like, like if they would have called it Resident Evil, don't fuck your cousin version, I'd be like, okay, <laughs> fine. That's that's that is totally fine with me. Call it that, like don't make it a mainstream title but the fact that they called it Resident Evil 7 really really bothered me so much see that's that's uh, what we mentioned before the the uh, what's it called differing view I can't find a word for it now because I suck at talking and playing as you can see I just I can focus on one at a time but yeah no I, I, I understand uh, I don't know I played it twice in a row that's rare for me uh, I mean I tried to get most achievements in like one of the games but it's like even though I'm like a pretty decent achievement hunter I got bored like I I just don't like that game where it's like I can't even just replay it a few times just to get all the achievements. I just do not like Resident Evil 7. I think it's bad. I think the story is awful. I just do not like anything about it. But you do like the remake of 2 because if I remember you played yes, it on Yes, because that's what Resident Evil 
That's what Resident Evil should be if they're gonna like no, modernize please, Resident no. Evil. Yes. No, like it not should over be over the shoulder. Yes, over the shoulder is definitely what it should be, at least. If you're gonna modernize like horror with over the shoulder mechanics, or at least like somewhat modern mechanics, it has to be over the shoulder. First person is fucking awful. Not not only because it makes like a portion of the people who play it motion sick, but because it's just a really bad like first person should not be a mechanic that we should use nowadays. What about Resident Evil Survivor? That was a fucking masterpiece. People loved Never it. Never played it. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. It was a horrible game. That was the first Resident yeah, Evil I'm first sure it was. game. It was fucking terrible. You I mean, first fight. person is a thing that was fun back in the day, but I feel like should be outdated and overwritten. So you don't like first person in general? I don't hate it. Which up? But like. I'm not saying I enjoy it either. And if you're gonna put it in the game that's like literally modernized or like like thrived on tank controls or something like tank controls or third person, don't do it. Like it's <laughs> it's bad. Like it's really bad. Uh, I think this is the one that we like make a giant. I don't have Run any ammo. Oh, finally. Oh, oh, okay. I was like, I don't know what to do. Wait, wait, wait. I need something. Hammer yeah, boost, but sure. it's just, uh, I don't have any grenades. When it comes to Resident Evil, it's just... First person is definitely not the way to go. That's that's not what you do. The sk The entire fear factor of it used to be... Watch what happens to your character. Now it's just like, watch what could happen to this weird first person thing because we're just trying to be a giant slut for VR. That's all it is. But that's interesting. Or at least that's what 7 was. See, the way I see it, the first three games were had fixed cameras, not just the first three. Outbreak had like semi fixed, fixed cameras because they didn't have like third person back in the day. Oh, of course, but that's what made Resident Evil. So they didn't do it because they wanted. I mean, they did. Duke Nukem had like a few third person games, uh, Fighting Force, stuff like that. It just didn't oh, work well. Zero until... Hour was fun as hell. Zero We're Hour is my favorite Duke, Duke Nukem, Nukem game. I yeah. love that. Oh my god, yes. Yep. Here we go again with you, like, <laughs> loving all the good games. <laughs> yeah. But what I want to say is the h how I felt it. So I was, I didn't want to play 7. I'll tell you. I didn't want to even try it because I tried the demo. I was like, this is more like Silent Hill. That has, this is just, like, supernatural. has nothing to do with uh, Resident Evil. But then it was impressed. the first game I got with my Xbox One in summer of 2019. And, uh, really? Yeah. yeah. And, uh... I booted it up as soon as I came for like I came from England like 2 a.m. something and Sasha and I stayed till uh, I think 6 7 a.m. Hmm. and we played it and I didn't expect to like it but ooh fuck there's explosions everywhere hmm. but like I said it's in those first three games you were very limited by that fixed hammer like the game you couldn't see what the game didn't want you to see until you changed the camera. The horror for me was not... I can hear the zombie somewhere in the room, but until I get, like, in its face almost, I won't know where it is. And one of the possible things was as soon as the camera changes, you get grabbed, like, right? Which I didn't feel with 4, 5, and 6, because I can turn around and see everything. I don't, like, I'm the master of my environment. I, no, you can't scare me. Well, really. 4, 5, and 6 Just, just let me finish. But... In, oh, go ahead. In, in seven, with that uh, first-person camera, I just felt that because your field of vision is so narrow, and yeah, you mentioned it before, you run like you have a fucking issue with your legs. Uh, you can't run, actually. Mm -hmm. uh, that's the one thing I really agree with. They could have made him just like a human that can walk and run, but okay. Um, and the fact that I, I was so... I, if I heard Jack behind me, I had to turn around and check, or run and hope he doesn't get me. I love that uh, aspect of it. But, yeah, I remember you were the first person I remember who mentioned that. Like, why can't you run? Seriously, Capcom, why can't you run in RE7? Like, his run is my light, not even jog, it's like 
a longer step. Yeah, it's, <laughs> it's like speed walking. <laughs> yeah. Whatever it is. Or you just, at least it doesn't look like it. Like, at least in Resident Evil 2 Remake, it looked like a kind of jog or something. Yeah, dude. Like, but in almost. Resident Evil 7 First Person, it looks like, yeah, you're speed walking or whatever, or whatever the fuck that was. It's weird, yeah. I, they didn't yeah. implement it. I will not defend that uh, that bit because they they really didn't Here. implement it well enough. They just made it harder so it would be scarier, and I think that's a cheap design decision. Mm -hmm. Like you actually Real make quick. it harder. I'm running to the bathroom. I'll be right back. Sure. <laughs> Dude. Ooh, we're in the center. Yes. Hey, Sky. You still there? Hey, how does that go? <laughs> okay, are you there? Hello? Hey! hey. Oh, Sorry, okay. I have mixing. Uh... Just make sure. Nah, you're good. Uh, just make sure you're there. Okay, how do I do this? Alright. Uh, I'm the shooter. Going back to what you were saying, uh, yeah. <laughs> going back to what you were saying, though, about Resident Evil 7 and when it first came out, like, a large portion of that sounded like anecdotal. So, like. Sorry. Sorry, a large know. what? How did that miss, for fuck's sake? <laughs> Large portion of that sounded anecdotal, like, in other words, you have fond memories of it because you had a great time with it. Uh, oh, they, they okay, alright, so I guess I should slow down. Uh, yeah, we're um, surrounded. Yeah, I guess I'll slow down. I don't know, I'm not used to driving. Uh, not, it's not that, I, 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 I don't know, I'll play it again, but, I played I mean, it twice in 2019. That's what 2019. it sounds like, at least when you were describing it. Like you said, you know, you got it with, you know, you played it with you and your wife, and... Uh, wait, what the fuck just happened? I have a booze kid Melanie? You have a what? Um, a booze. Ah, sorry, I was sneezing. Oh, okay. Uh, but you'll try but to... yeah, I mean, like... Oh, yeah. 
It sounded like kind of anecdotal, like an example to prove something based upon a personal experience. Like, not that I'm saying you are, I'm just saying like, that's just what it sounds like. Well, yeah, it's I'm like talking from my personal experience. To... That's the only one I can talk oh, to. Oh, yeah, definitely, of course. But I mean, if we're talking about like, in terms of which games you feel like the Resident Evil series should go in the direction of, I only have one answer. Really? <laughs> you can't really talk in terms of personal experience. You have to talk in terms of general gameplay and what's best for the game itself. So when you come of like let's think about how much time you spent playing Resident Evil Resistance versus Resident Evil 7. But that's because what? of you guys. See if, like, if I didn't <laughs> I, meet I the gang. I definitely appreciate that. But yeah, what I'm just, saying is more like, what you're drew what makes you it to fun. Resident Evil Resistance in the first place versus well, replaying well, well, 7 over and over and over again? A definitely week. has oh, more I, replay yeah. value. But if, if yeah. I don't know. I know that we all have a bias, especially, like you said, you know, if you grew up with something, it's going to have a more, um, it's going to have more impact on you and definitely classic mm -hmm. Resident Evil games I still play them replay all three of them at least once a year uh, I've been playing Outbreak for the last five months even more than Resistance when I finally got the uh, ability to play it to slow down slow down play it online oh sorry sorry I'm pull back it's it's that's what I'm looking for so if I had the choice, I would go in that direction. If I, because I think that makes a better Resident Evil game. There's but that's puzzles still to the do fixed that. camera, as opposed to first person. I think like if they made a game like that with uh, Watch Out. Okay, I'm reloading. I'm gonna see if I can just run past. Yeah, oh, okay, they, I guess not. The oh, cannons okay. can you know fuck us up. I'm really bad at this. <laughs> can we swap roles? I wish. I think. I don't know. So yeah. Uh, Dom will always shoot, Marcus will always drive it. Okay, let's inch by inch, because they when they survive surround us, I can't um, even... Uh, yeah. This I, is not Borderlands. <laughs> yeah, I guess not. Okay. I wish it was like Borderlands. It'd be so much fun. See, like games like Borderlands, I'm okay with being first person. Oh, definitely. Keep it steady, the whole gameplay is based around that, so it makes sense. Yeah. But games like Resident Evil, I, I don't know. It's just. It doesn't feel right. I don't know. But again, it's okay to have different opinions. That's what makes. That's how we make things better, yeah, actually. Yeah. We all agree that war, war would be. I'm just. Boring. I'm so terrified of, like, offending you. I'm sorry. <laughs> Stop, 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 stop. You gotta get the Reaver. Or, or run him over. I'm sorry. There's, yeah, there's not much I can really do. Cause... Okay, charge bullets. There you go. Whoa, who's shooting? Behind us. Stop. Who the fuck is that asshole? Uh, oh, it's a Troy uh, Cub oh, there. How did I miss that? There we go. Sorry. Okay, there we go. Oh my god, okay. It drives like a wet slipper on ice. <laughs> <laughs> I remember this, how hard it, it was. It drives to... like me on any fucking road in the United States. <laughs> Terribly. <laughs> who's shooting now? Are you fucking kidding me, guy? You think you're the guy who's gonna do the job? Why she is. Wait, what the fuck? I oh think my. you're going backwards, yep. This. Because it's like Mako for Mass Effect, it can well, go both ways. Yeah, this thing has tank controls, but at the same time, it doesn't, which is so stupid. You can okay, go straight go. I think There we go. Okay, we're good. We're good. We're straight now. God damn it. My disappointment in RE2 remake oh. lies in the lack of the actual AB scenario. I don't know why they cheap oh out on that. Oh my god, that drove me 
crazy, yes. Like, if I have to complain about anything, oh shit, minus. Exactly, yeah. That would be the Fuck. thing. Puzzles were okay, that I think they could have been good. harder, more brain-provoking, but I agree. Okay. But, like, they have to cater for speedrunning. It's like, why? Like, who the fuck cares about speedrunners? They can honestly go fuck themselves. Honestly, or you they can probably do are with all their speedrunning times. They're probably, like, literally, like, taking a look at their fucking, like, oh, I beat the game in a minute and a half or whatever. Like, let me go jack off to this picture. Like, who the fuck cares? Can <laughs> I please enjoy my game? That's all they want. Yep. My my uh, average Resident Evil run takes about 10 hours because they soak it in. Every time I act like I'm there and just, no matter how many times I played them, uh, I will uh, still like touch everything, read everything, inspect everything. That's that's why, why I love those games. I really want like the original Resident Evil 2 and Resident Evil 3. I needed to get a Wii. Uh, bitch and moan, bear and bitch and moan. Where the Did you say we? fuck am I going? <laughs> Go towards <laughs> no the idea. troops over there. Uh, yeah, we, so I can play like uh, Resident Evil 2 uh, original and 3 original. Yeah. Because I have them both on GameCube. I just need a, the console to play them on. Yo. I think, yeah, I mentioned this last time, I would go with the Wii just because of the component uh, output, because for the GameCube you need about 200 bucks just for that cable, because they were limitedly made, limited edition, and Nintendo never made new, but on Wii you can just get a component cable and be done with it. I don't even see if I'm killing them, just explosions, Michael Pake. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Use the juice, Marcus. Tomato juice, if you can. Okay, hopefully that will get the <gasps> point. I didn't hear the bell. I don't know about driving a tank over they could the do... Market. I don't know why they never did what Silent no Hill 2 and 3 done, and never before or after. So in those games, you could choose your... Whoa, 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 whoa! Shit, uh, it was too late. I couldn't I know. stop. Wet slipper on ice? On ice, so yeah. that's twice on ice. Um, in Silent Hill 2 and 3, you could choose separately action difficulty and puzzle difficulty. Uh. So, like when I was a kid, I, I would play on easy action, but medium or hard puzzle, because that's what interested me, you know? And puzzles would yeah. significantly change, from like easy being just resistance, put this key into this slot, you solve it, bravo, to normal being uh, thought-provoking, to hard being... You gotta know the whole fucking Shakespeare ontology if you want to solve this puzzle. I don't know why that didn't become a thing. I guess it takes time Wait, to... Wait, Shakespeare ontology? Like, you yep. have to, like, what, fucking pick up an English book or some shit? Yeah, in Silent Hill 3, there's this uh... Shakespeare puzzle that on uh, hard puzzle difficulty, I was stuck there so long I had to look it up on the internet. And I hate doing that. I like doing, uh, solving my own thing. Yeah. That's why it will spend days on a bit sometimes but I couldn't figure it out and it turned out you had to you had to have read those books and know because they're all like even the clues are puzzled so you gotta know what they're talking about they're talking about the outline of the people who are in those books like King Lear Hamlet and so on and uh, that's you know that's okay because you don't have to go hard puzzle level you can just go normal where you have to just Coming use on. logic or easy where just put one book in the shelf yeah. Here they come. That's a shame because like um people were really talking about the Silent Hill games, or at least on my PlayStation group. And I'm like, oh, you know what? Maybe like I know they released the H D collection. Maybe I should no. get that. And I No was... No Wait, why? Do not get it. <laughs> okay, so why? this is a I have a running gag because I'm streaming Silent the whole Silent Hill series and whenever I talk about the H D collection I gag because it's that bad so HD collection well, is one of those games that was fucked up bad but it's not the developers fault uh, basically Konami gave them a broken unfinished beta code and said remaster this masterpiece and it didn't work so so much of it is broken I talked I actually talked a lot about it last night in my SHT stream uh, where the fog yeah, is almost... Yeah, but aren't you technically playing it? No, I'm playing the PS2 version. But I'm, I'm what's playing the, the difference? Old... 
The difference is huge, bro. So it's like so huge in terms of what exactly? Like graphics or gameplay? Uh. So first they uh, changed all the voices, and they did it because they had some like license fuck up. So in Silent Hill 2 HD, you can actually choose the old voices. In 3, you cannot. But the bugs, the glitches. The, the the graphical and gameplay get glitches, the freezes, the crashes. So many people can't even finish a game because it crashes so much. It's it's like an early beta of a game, and I played the I played the second game on HD because I just wanted to share it with Sasha, right? And oh my God, it's like playing it's like playing an early build of the game. I love and Sun Hill is top oh, three. Would you say that? Sorry. No, like up top, like you have to like shoot those oh, thank big you. ass things on that ridge. Do you see that? No, oh, okay, I okay. saw it from behind the hill. Sorry, I was I was in the heat of talking. <laughs> no, it's okay. Um, it's just it's too broken. I can't like well, just start with the fog, which is the biggest thing of Silent Hill. It doesn't exist almost in the HD remake because but... <laughs> I don't quite know how to feel about that because, like, I've never played a single Silent Hill game. Like, I have no idea what I'm walking into. So it's like, I feel like the HD collection is literally my only way to get all three of them. It's actually two. In this day Two and, and three. Though the sad oh, thing about Silent Hill 1 is, if I can only, god. Oh, okay, Sorry. I guess I have to wait for you to shoot him. Yeah, that would help because it's really rocky and the uh, slippery slipper. They, it's only Sand Hill two and three, and it's because they share the same engine. Uh, Sand Hill one is lost to history. If you don't have it on PS one or haven't bought mm. it on PS three, because the well, actually they I announced mean, that the store is not closing. You could buy it on the mm. PS three store, actually. Yeah. Am I really missing Sun much? Sand Hill one. Yeah. Uh, well, yeah, it's because Silent Hill 3 is a direct sequel to 1. 2 is a separate game. It has nothing to do with either. Move back, move back. I see them, I just can't I mean, aim. I'm sure I can just, like, read, like, a, uh... Well, I have to, like, dodge, but... Uh, goddammit. Yeah, you, we have to I, move. Yeah. I can't sit still. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, definitely. Um... But I see, I've seen where they are now, so I'll try to snipe them as soon as we start. I just need a charge oh, shot. Yeah. I mean, I can't, like, I can, like, read, like, what happens in Silent Hill 1. It's not a big deal. You can. Uh, that one has, if I remember, five endings, I think, of which one is canon. Uh, actually, I streamed it recently with, uh, with a canon ending, because uh, that's what I'm doing right now, getting all the canon endings. Canonical. Mm -hmm. Will you die, sir? Oh, he's dead, finally. I think we're good. Oh god. Um, then Silent Hill 2 is its own story, and that's by, by, like, according to many people, including myself, that's the pinnacle of the series in storytelling. Gameplay, not so much, because James also has a problem with running, just like Ethan. He runs like he's always about to shit himself, but if you can get past that, <laughs> the story is just. I don't know, it's almost unsurpassed. I lump it up there with Eternal Darkness in terms of sheer horror and uh, storytelling. That's another game. Honestly, if I had a GameCube like right now, I'd probably play that one first. Or me. I I'm would definitely really play staying Eternal off Darkness of it like now. right fucking now. Oh my god, I want to play that game so bad. Same, trust me, I haven't played it since 2013, uh, I'm gonna say. And uh, because I have a schedule to uphold, I'm just steering off of it because I want to. This is the worst. Games. I need a, I need a fucking Wii like tomorrow. Like, shouldn't they be I cheap to get now? Okay. Cheaper than GameCube. At least. Uh, I still think they're like two hundred. Let me go check on the Amazon. Are you fucking kidding me? Over here, you can buy a Wii for ten euros, thing. ten bucks, ten dollars, whatever. Really? Yeah, P oh, I bought damn. two PS2s for one? ten dollars. Sure, I mean. If it's if it's cheaper that way, why not? Yeah, I mean honestly, just if you can actually find one, tell me how much it is for both shipping and the purchase. I'll fucking I don't know Venmo that shit to you or whatever, whatever you use, PayPal. I'll jump 
Whatever. I'm positive I can find you a Wii for less than two hundred dollars. <laughs> definitely. Yeah. I mean, like once I'm <laughs> once I'm not driving, I'm definitely gonna go check Amazon. Just be like, how much is that Wii? Like, I'm pretty sure it was like two hundred last time I checked. Yeah, Seward also told me when I asked him, I was like, do you want to play Outbreak with me? He's like, I don't have a PS2, and my computer is not really good for emulation. Okay, so, uh, I, l let's get you a PS2. He's like, they're 50 bucks. 50 bucks for a PlayStation 2? Are you kidding me? It's like 20 years old console. It's not still in the, it shouldn't be in the getting, whoa, whoa, blood, no. No. No, no, no. God damn it. No. We had a straight, <laughs> that's not the I was trying to turn. I'm stupid. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's okay. You just look funny. Like he's coming. You're like, no, fuck this. Oh, Do yeah. that. <laughs> what? Oh God, Scarlet. I don't know if the what's more interesting, uh, the talk or the games. But I'm glad I got up this point. Oh. It was so hard getting up. Trust me, because I slept very little. But I'm glad I did. I mean, I'm glad you did too, otherwise I'd be just sitting here and being like, where the fuck is Hippie? <laughs> <laughs> he didn't even say he's not coming. Right. Okay, I guess I can't do that. Yeah, like, fucking, what is it? Oh, okay, I can get one with no cables for 145. Why? Nintendo Wii with cables, 213, 176. Yeah, it was like 200 Let's get that guy, hold on. fucking shit. I can't even aim at him because of the angle. Fuck you, fucking uh, ass. I can't even tell what. Get slowly down. I'll try to destroy what I can from here. At least the splash down. radius is huge on this cannon. Yeah, I'm telling you, on Amazon, like everything's any kind of Wii is like at least 200 or over. Or it's any kind of good Wii. Oh, uh, I actually. Huh. I, I don't buy from Amazon anything because we just got Amazon this year in Serbia, believe it or not. But the shipping is in intense, like it's it's too crazy. I get like, I buy a thing for, if I want to buy a $30 console, I'll pay, buy, I'll, there, there's the turrets. I'll uh, oh, pay okay. $50 shipping and it's not worth it. <laughs> on the other hand, on eBay, usually I usually order from European sellers, right? From UK and Germany and such. But I did order from Japan, uh, from, you know, when I get import games, I did order from, oh God, from US. And still, at most, I paid like 20 bucks shipping. I don't know what's up with Amazon, their shipping. And then I hear stuff well, like they throw a package shipping. at your door. Oh, I mean, that's different. Shipping isn't really the case um, here because, like, all these costs are before shipping. Because I have Amazon Prime to where it's like I don't have to pay for shipping. Um, oh. So it's 200 before that. As far as the throwing the packages at your door thing, um, that's only if you have something that doesn't weigh like a fucking console. Like, if you have. I don't Maybe, know if you heard I don't what happened to fuck, Rafael. Brown Kulo. What about Bron? He ordered a new headset because his dog chewed his old. And who the uh, fuck destroyed us now? And probably some gun turret somewhere. Wow. Okay. But just keep what trying. happened with Bron? So oh, yeah. they they just threw the package at his doorstep and of course it was stolen which over here that would be punishable by law because you you have to sign for your package behind us mm. in front of us god damn it i did i tried the turn but for some reason it went straight i think they've gotten smarter scarlet they're like instantly when we respawn <laughs> they're there <laughs> now okay so like when it comes to package thieves i live elevated i guess you could say from most of the houses on my street so it's like, if you were to even steal a package on my porch, you'd have to climb up all these stairs, and you'd have to know it was there, which most of the male guys are actually pretty cool, and they hide, like, all of our packages behind, like, our support pillars. So, it's not even visible from the street. Okay. But still, this shouldn't be a thing. You should be able to sign for your package, and... Because over here, if, well, I mean, for yeah. more valuable packages, they'll even ask for your ID. Hold on, hold on. I need to destroy the turret, wherever it is. I can't see. One up. Oh, yeah. We're getting shot from, like, the lower area, too. Yeah, so, I, I think I shot everything I below. One, two... There we go, three, finally. Okay. Did you see that? 
now. I have to take the tower on there. Maneuver this stupid fucking thing. Uh, okay. The tower, the tower. It fell, okay. Please hurry, we're on fire. Can we fix slowly? Is, is it down? Yeah, see, it's fell. Okay, yeah, yeah, we'll fix it over like Gears Logic. Over time, it just fixes itself. Ooh, that was a good shot. No, but when it comes to like uh, package thieves, um, that's more common because like in America we had like uh, Amazon is pretty much like a prime delivery service. It's like everyone's go-to online shopping service. Yeah. So we have so many packages and stuff that are being delivered to where it's just like there's no policing for it other than the doorbell cameras that people sometimes buy. Like you said, it was punishable by, what was it? Jailing or whatever? Yeah, it's punishable by law for the mailman to just like drop the package. He can't do that. He has to has, have your signature if it's worth over, I think, 25 euros or so like a 30 yeah, bucks. Okay. You have to sign for it and show your ID. Welcome to fucking capitalism where they don't give two fucks about the consumer and they only care about the business. It's, I don't know, I get why you want to make it faster, but that's not the right no, way. That's like I the broken way to make hate, it faster. I hate everything about the United States. Like, I cannot stand this fucking country. Oh, wow. I think it's broken as fuck. I think everything about it is wrong. There's just so much shit about this place. It drives me fucking batshit crazy. Well, I feel the same about my country. Actually, this is a good, uh, this is a good... I wanted to talk about this in a stream, but this is actually a great uh, time to do it. So, so there's this, our country uh, doesn't have a law for freelancers, right? And I've mentioned this before already, they're trying to get a new law for taxing the freelancers, they don't know how, and they suck at it, bad. Mm -hmm. um, so, there was this talk, they're gonna be like 67% of your pay goes to tax. Uh, up and down. Sixty-seven percent. Yeah, two thirds. Holy shit. Yeah. I thought and a quarter there are... of my pay was like ridiculous. Just doesn't make sense, you know. And it's they. Uh, so there we had we got uh, freelancer association of Serbia fighting for fair taxes like the rest of Europe, like twenty-ish percent. And finally, <laughs> it broke last week when the oh, shit, leading we're party. Main... Uh, oh, okay. We're good. That's right. good, that's good. Go ahead. So the leading party, a Serbian forward thinking party, they... <laughs> it sputters like an actual car. <laughs> Donkey Kong 64. Uh, they were... They basically just took some of their people and uh, formed another freelancer uh, association and quote-unquote generously donated their lawyers uh, and they ha made an agreement with themselves, you know. Mm -hmm. Is that it? How did it fail? What did we... You have to shoot the corpse. Sorry, I didn't... I For me, it was all just black screen. That's why I was wondering yeah, why... I think you... Because, like, on my screen, you're aiming off in the, like, I don't know, the far right. I was trying so I think, to... I think turn. you have to... Yeah. Uh, so, no, basically, when they did that, last, uh, this Saturday, they announced that... Uh, um, the, the law has been brought, so right now if I make more than $6,400 a year, I have to give 55% of it to taxes. No medical... 6000 That's not much at all, but then yeah, it's not. I'd say it sucks cock. Where is he? Right in front of... Yeah, you're shooting. You're shit, okay, give it a try. Yeah, now I see the, the right, light. The one on the right. Yeah, uh, there we go. That one in the middle. And the it's like whack a mole. You're good. Perfect. Alright, um, where am I going? And there's no so the regular workers, we have free medical in Serbia. Like that comes with, you know, your job and everything and pension and all that. Freelancers have none of that and still we give fifty five percent. Why? 
because the country thinks we're earning God knows what kind of money. And it's stupid because we're actually bringing money into the country, into a very poor and falling apart country. So it's like, mm -hmm. it feels like double injustice. And it just reminded me because you, what you said your opinion about the United States. That's how I feel about Serbia and have had for a long time. But after things like this, it just doesn't help change the opinion, you know. Like you're trying yeah, to screw me I over mean, instead of working with me. Yeah, exactly. I'm not saying other countries have it better or like best, I guess. Best would be the keyword. But I'm not saying they don't have it somewhat right either. So it's like you have some countries like Switzerland or whatever that have like a pretty good um, system for caring for all of their citizens when the United States you have people who are you know systems where it's just like oh okay well you can only get your medical insurance or your job but you know if you don't have a job then pray you don't have a medical emergency otherwise you're fucked financially if you're giving a birth to a baby you might as well just do it at home cheap yeah and it's ridiculous bravo finally but um one thing that even as a kid always felt so weird to me was how like every day you'd go to school and it was like you know at the beginning of the day you would always say the pledge of allegiance really all right so have you heard of this no okay so like this is weird because like in america they have all their kids literally say this kind of like pledge to the united states flag yeah i know what the pledge of allegiance is every I didn't know you had to yeah do it okay it's cool every day it sounds like brainwashing it was weird exactly that's what i'm fucking saying like it is literal brainwashing for your fucking children drove me and like even as a kid i was like this is weird. I'm sorry, but this is weird. Hey, it's Chaps. We kind of fought. I mean, we had that at the communism, and I put it in quote because it was always socialism under the guise of communism. But during communist days, they were like sing praises to, I think, President Tito. Uh, my mother still talks about it like Tito's pioneers. But I, as, I, even as a kid, I would tell her that just sounds like brainwashing. With extra steps. <laughs> With extra steps. Oh my god, what was that? That was uh, Rick and Morty. Where yep, they that. <laughs> Slay Rude with extra yeah. steps. <laughs> I mean, yeah, it pretty much is. Alright, I will be right back. So sure. go ahead and continue. I'll just stand still for a little bit. Okay. Okay. Come on, man, let's go. Old man, gather everyone and go with them. They'll take you to safety. Oh, wait a minute. This doesn't mean we gotta fight in your army now, does it? I didn't say that. <laughs> but you're not Old staying man. here. Wait, before you go. You ever seen this woman? Name's Maria. Oh, pretty. Something about her face does seem familiar. One of the other groups that came down before Stu's group, I think. Uh, but Stu and them got captured. Oh, no. But the captured ones. The locusts have been taking them towards Nexus? Probably. Or the work camps along the way. How do we find them? When you get to the highway near the dam, there's a path that'll take you there. <laughs> Thanks, old man. Don't know what good it does you. You ain't getting in there unless you're a locust. Hey, Marcus. What if the beacon doesn't work? Then we'll see Jacinto down here. Jacinto, right. Control, Delta here. Cole and Baird are heading to the surface with survivors for evac. Roger that, Delta. What about you and Dom? 
We're heading in deeper to the Nexus stronghold. We think we found the path. Copy that. We have groin lift reinforcements awaiting your signal. Thanks, Control. Delta out. Let me just check something here. This is crazy, man. Maria better not be down here. Everything's gonna work out, Dom, all right? Yeah. I... I hope so. 16. Jesus Christ. Hard to believe this leads to a locust city. Feels too old. Maybe that'll be our advantage. This would be the last route they think we'd take. Where do they get these facts? I don't get it. Locust war... Oh. Where does this story come from? Yeah, Mount Kadar. How long do you think... I thought I heard you, sorry if you're not there. Oof. Oh, there we go. Sorry about that. Um, I forgot I had a sniper. What, are you, what were you saying? How long till Maria scene? Because I was hoping to uh, end uh, on that cliffhanger. Um, Hi, look. We have to defeat the Leviathans first, which is just like a few areas ahead. Yeah, I think we can. And then I think we get right into it after that. I would need to go in about 20 minutes because I got work to do. Then new. you might want to cut it soon after the next checkpoint because the Leviathan can take a little bit depending upon how. Oh, I'm how... gonna blow up both of us. Yeah, you did. How <laughs> good or bad we do. And that was an excellent sub I say bad. <laughs> oh god, I definitely play worse when I talk, but I have more fun. <laughs> oh yeah, no, me too, me too. <sighs> I want that. I want that gun. Guy, give me the gun. Maybe that's why Aaron Hansen plays like crap whenever he's on game games. I get it now. Yep. Because you need to focus, really. Fuck yeah! He's so bad. Like, you know how we talked about that sequelitis video? But, like, he has, like, an entire, like, series where he's playing um, Ocarina of Time on Game Grumps. Yeah. He dies, like, so often. I'm like, bro, I've never died on Ocarina of Time. Or at least, if I did, I had a fairy. Oh yeah, at least one bottle with a fairy. That's such a cheat in the Korean. Oh yeah. I mean, it's in all the zones, not all of them. I mean, at oh, least I know. Oh God. I can't even see to crawl to you. Okay, I see you. Faster, faster, crawl, crawl, crawl. Thank you. Let's get serious. At least I know, like all the way through um, Wind Waker. I think it's time for the for my petted arrow in the head. Yeah, I think we're gonna have to cut off at the Leviathan. What the hell is that? Is that a guy on a Troika? Yeah, I'm trying to yeah, I'm trying to get the turret, but I can't seem to hit it. Why? What am I hitting instead? Grenades? Sure. Let's try again. Actually, let's try on this asshole. Wow. Okay, there was. I feel that I wasted a lot of these for nothing. Thank you. Why are they not hitting? I go. think we're supposed to run past this guy. Not a hundred percent, but maybe. 
Did I destroy him? No. No, just the guy on the boat. Look, I hitting him with the arrows and... Did he die? Finally? Yep. That took almost 10 arrows. Jeez, but he left more. There we go, longboat. Gunboat. Oh, longboat? They're I not fucking Vikings. Like Shrika, I guess, or something. I yeah, know. you disappeared. I couldn't even see you on the radar, just like probably disintegrated you. Okay, I'll get the gun. You get the guys around, okay? I'm gonna blow up. Oh no. Thank you, lag. That's a grenade! <sighs> Fuck Nasty. you! Okay, I get the other... Arrower. If he doesn't get me. Ah. Oh. Like oh, a millisecond before he was hit with the arrow, his head popped. Let me get the other guy. Oh, the boats are gone. Okay, watch up. Uh, the little Not run behind you, wretch, yeah. Just punch him in the face. Give me those arrows. Oh, Stu! He's uh, Maria's uh, kind of friend. There's a gunboat. Ooh, I'm coming. We're alone, no more bots, right? Uh, Try to get the gunboat. Yeah, I am so bad. Okay, let's get that guy at the distance. Um, oh, on the boat? Yeah, I think you just gotta shoot the explosive crate. Oh! Can I cancel this? Yeah, no. there it goes. Nice. Now we can get across. Oh, thank you for telling me the thing about the hammer, the hammer burst that makes it even cooler that I can, like, do 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 Oh yeah, just like fucking tap that shit with your middle finger. You should be able to get it. Literally give him the finger. Oh, I hear a guy, but I'm gonna finish him no matter what. There you go. Mm, mm, mm. I love that. I'm telling you, like the three punch from Gears 2 is like the best. They should not have abandoned it. Yeah, in five, there, four and five, there's this like when he beats him and beats him like fucking shit, he's a mushroom. I mean, just that go was to back the next in guy. three. Really? Oh yeah, yeah. That was the biggest thing in Gears Three. I always called it the Thirty Punch. <laughs> it's apart from the Three Punch. Like, yeah, it's like in Gears Two you had the Three Punch, and then in Gears Three you had the Thirty Punch. There's a sniper but, on the stairs if you need ammo. No, I dropped it for a torque. Oh. Let's try again. I think I got that Canthus. Wow, all that's Watch left of me is my gun. Just, like, literally just gun fell oh, on the floor. <laughs> you died. Oh, okay. The moment you said, watch out for tickers, it was like, Poof. Okay, oh, let's, yeah. let's... I'll focus on the mid-range first, and then on the long range. Because I'm trying to get the guys in the back, and obviously that's not a good strategy. And I hear a, a torque bow somewhere. Okay, I'll get the gunner. Watch my back front, middle. But that's not fair. I'm in cover. Where do I hear that from? That's me. Do you have a longbow? Probably. A torque bow? No, a torque bow, yeah. I call it longbow because it kind of goes long, I don't know. Just never learned the... <laughs> Yeah, torque remember. bow and long shot. So it's yeah. yeah, but it's actually, you didn't know Scarlet, but it's actually long bow and torque shot. 
Oh, really? Oh, okay. Yeah, I've been Blood playing mount. this game wrong the entire time since 2007. Fuck you! Oh fuck, I'm coming to you. Oh god, okay. Woohoo! Am I dead? No? I'm just stuck. I'm, uh, I'm dead now. Sounded I like a grenade. Live. Yeah, I thought it would, uh, you would live through that. Oh well. Oh no, death. My only weakness. <laughs> well, I'm pretty sure that's like a lot of people's <laughs> weaknesses. <laughs> Fuck you, guy. Guy, oh, messed. I got him. Finally got him. I'm gonna go ahead and oh, ticker, sticker, ticker, tickers, ticker, tickers. You alive? Yes. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I'm good. I think I got that cantus. The cantus. Oh, there's another one. Yeah, I'm there. Providing covering fire. Oh, oh. I like when they play dead. <laughs> I didn't find you. And grenades, sure. That got a hurt. Ow, dick. Is there a grenade flying? Yeah, that was an ink grenade. He had a thing in his head. He's not gonna go for that. That guy has a thing in his balls. Watch out. Wow, he didn't blow up because of the animation. He had an arrow in his back. I guess so. I framed it. Yep. Oh, actually, I just re remember something. If you're getting a Wii, uh, mm -hmm. so my second favorite is Silent Hill Shattered Memories. Which is kind of reimagining, actual reimagining, not a remake of uh, the first one. Um, it was released on Wii and PS2, but I do I played it on PS2 numerous times, never with the Wii. But I do know that on the Wii, you actually because there's a lot of puzzles in that one. It's really like brimming with puzzles and story. Uh, you use the Wii mode to solve a lot of physical puzzles, which I would like to try. So mm -hmm. if you can get your hands on that one, I heard it's pretty expensive. Probably not. I honestly, if I were to play any Silent Hill game, I'd just get the HD collection from the Xbox Store. Just because I've never played a single one, I'm too lazy and it's cheap. Oh, so fuck it. I'm old and my bones hurt. My ticket ticker. Do you guys have Alo Alo in, uh, in the US? Have what? Hello, hello, the comedy show uh, during the World I don't War Two. So. so this Hell French, if I know. this French uh, cafe owner uh, is like against his will. He's helping the French resistance against the Germans, and all the actors. So all everybody like French, German, Englishmen. Hang on, hang on. Something wrong. I have a hammer burst. I can't get my lancer back. Oh, this is bad. It's bad. Okay, never mind. Here we go. Okay. Sorry, go ahead. The glitches. Um, yeah. He, so all the like, Germans and French and, uh, and Englishmen, they're all speaking English, but with different accents, and they can't understand each other. It's one of the main gags. So, like, the Frenchman will speak like this, and uh, then you have British old chaps, and, I don't know, the Germans will speak like speak this. Speak like Hockney or something? Yeah, they all have used their like native accents, but uh, the thing is like they don't understand each other, right? And there's this guy, uh, Undertaker, who's got the hots for the main guy's wife, and he's his line is like, whenever he appears, because he's almost dead himself, he's ready for the Undertaker himself. He's always saying, "Oh, my ticket to car." That's what tickers remind me of. 
This is hard to scale again, you know. <laughs> uh, so this is pretty much the Leviathan area. Are you wanting to cut it after this, or yeah, the next right now? The next uh, checkpoint, wherever it is. We're pretty much gonna get like right into Maria after this, I believe. Oh, that's okay. It's because I named the episode Maria. It would be a shame not to have yeah. Maria. Well, I mean, like, uh, we'll see how it goes. I, I'm not 100. percent Yeah, I can't remember. I thought she was gonna be right after Ty's death. Yeah, we gotta do this stupid thing. Oh, Ty's dead? No. Yeah, it's a ways. So, do we need to kill the the power of the boats or? No. Because it's ramming us. It'll be alright. Yeah, it's not the the aim doesn't get red, so yeah. That means you can't hurt them. Oh, nice. I salute you for being able to stay up this late and still like sound very alive. I would probably be droopy and weird earlier. <laughs> 4 a.m. No, it's fine. Now that I've able, like, I'm actually able to sleep past, like, fucking 7 or 8 a.m., like, I'm good. Hey, wait. What happens if we breathe in this shit? Are you a night bird by default? Too late. Oh, yeah. Owl? Usually I'm, yeah, a night owl. I can't believe you played zero hour. Just like can't even we can't even get to talk about all the games. There's so many. Oh, Duke Nukem? Yeah, it's, not, it's yeah, my favorite okay, Duke Nukem. So the story behind that was kind of funny because like me and my brother, uh, I was like eight, eight? No, wait, no, my, I was in the third grade. I think I was eight. Yeah, um, and it's like. My mom and my sister was like, oh, we're having, like, girls' night out, or whatever. And me and my dad and my brother were like, okay. And so, like, um, at the time, you know, me and my brother were like, alright, so what are we doing? And my dad's like, I don't fucking care. <laughs> like, <laughs> play this new game. And I was like, okay. <laughs> me and my brother were playing, yeah, Zero Hour at the time. So you were a Nintendo child? Oh yeah. I mean, all the way up until the Wii came out, and then I'm like, the Wii fucking sucks. It's a really bad console. It's good for the ability to play GameCube on it, I'll tell you that. <laughs> I mean, if your console is only good for it backwards compatibility, <laughs> <laughs> that's not you a good You gotta ask a few questions. <laughs> oh, I can't move. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know, it's just... Uh, zero hour was so much fun. I, hard, oh, I but rewarding hard. Oh, uh, yeah. It was such a good game. I remember me and my brother were always, like, trying to get all the, um... Secrets Like, the unlockables. Parts. The yeah. secrets and, um... Time machine but, I mean, parts. like, the infinite ammo and the cheats and stuff. Like, yes. you're able to get the time machine parts. Oh, shit. I'm down. Yeah. Like, I remember my brother stayed home from school one day and, like, kept replaying the minecart level I got uh... the peacekeeper <laughs> uh, uh that's um, the one cheat. I replayed the most yeah cuz my brother really wanted he loved the peacekeeper uh weapon so he yeah. wanted to get the infinite peacekeeper cheat yes yes i understand <laughs> it's weird most people don't like uh, zero hour they say it's I like, like one of the worst uh, people. What the fuck ever? That was so much fun. I it was very creative, and all the levels are different, and you, they make you think and work for them. Mm -hmm. When yeah. it comes to the guns, though, like I love the Western shotgun, the one that acted like the Terminator shotgun. The one where you, like oh, the buffalo rifle. It whenever you reload, yeah, yeah, oh, my God, that was so much fun. I love that. It shoots one bullet, well, like one pellet, but that one pellet does some insane damage. Like, it, it's stronger than a sniper at the headshot. Well, yeah, it was like kind of like a regular rifle bullet, but like, because it, it did the whole Terminator thing where it's like if you were to reload it, you did yeah. the little like flip of flip, the gun yeah. or whatever. 
So, like, as a kid, like, that fucking drew me. I was like, what the hell is this? I love this. This is so cool. And all the uh, pokes at Nintendo uh, references, like, uh, because Nintendo didn't agree with them having, uh, you want the ammo? Having the uh, uh, alcohol or anything like that and on their platform. So you can see in the Western levels, there's, like, uh, Alcohol prohibited by Sheriff Ted Nindo. It took me years to figure out what they were talking about. <laughs> I don't remember that. Well, yeah. <laughs> I guess I never paid. I mean, I was a kid at the time. So yeah, a long time ago. Attention. I got it when I was already a, a lot older. First few playthroughs, I, I was just like, who the fuck is Ted Nindo? <laughs> yeah. But yeah, that and Time to Kill on the PlayStation. So there was Time to Kill, Duplicum Time to Kill on the PlayStation, <laughs> which was a time travel duplicum. And then this came out and it was like a much better version of Time to Kill for me. So like when we were kids, you know, we had the Duke Nukem on the computer, the PC. 3D, yeah. Um, yeah, and then... We had Zero Hour for the 64. But after that, we never played anymore after that. Like, we there was nothing play, after yeah, that. Time to Kill or the Manhattan Project. I didn't like the Manhattan Project. Uh, Time Never to Kill was my it. first 3D shooter game, so it has a special place in my heart. But like, as a more quality game, I'll always say it's uh, that's. Ooh, there we go. Is Goldeneye technically a 3D shooter? Because if it yeah. is, that yeah, was yeah. my first. It's not a third person, but yeah, first person shooter. I didn't like yeah, it as a kid. It was really like 2D graphics. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's why I was asking. But, like now, I still didn't beat Goldeneye, I'll be honest. I decided to do it on a stream at once, some point. But, oh, in the, uh, there's another one. I got it again in 2019 when I went on a big shopping spree in the UK. I got Goldeneye and Duke Nukem 64, among other games. And I actually understood how to play Goldeneye finally. But I still got stuck on the jungle level. Oh my god, Natalia is sometimes such a suicide bomber. Uh, it's been a while, but I remember that was fairly tough. To be honest, I like Perfect Dark more than I did Goldeneye. And a lot of people would like crucify me for saying that, but... I don't know, I, I'm not saying Goldeneye was outdated, but like at the time, I preferred Perfect Dark. Eyes? Perfect Dark, which was essentially Goldeneye 2. Electric yeah, Blue. improved version of Goldeneye. Yeah. I just started Perfect Dark first time when I got the re rare replay, because I can't get it for N64. Some games, in, some old games in Europe are just Yeah, you can get it for 360. Yeah, that's how I... Oh no, actually, I, but yeah, in uh, Rare Replay, it's the 360 version. Mm -hmm. And I liked what because I played, I, I just want to dedicate time to it. That's the only reason why I didn't play it further. The multiplayer was actually like a lot better. Oh, grenade in the mouth, I think, when he opens. Yeah, you have to shoot those little tendrils. It's like a banjo kazooie boss in here. I hear things, I don't see things. What's going on? Um, you okay? Shooting? Yeah. Oh, you're inside of it. Yep. Oh, okay. I was like, where the hell did she inside? Okay, maybe I'm not good. He's not opening his eyes or mouth. Okay, we're good. Nice! You just yeah, I, I definitely yeah. need you in there next time, though. <laughs> um, what was I talking about? Yeah, no, Perfect Dark was a lot of fun, especially its multiplayer, because it was way too advanced for its time. Because, like, you can add bots, customize the bots, change their characters. Uh, you had, like, rankings and shit. I don't know. It was, like, way too good for its time. Why can't and I, I feel like a lot of people didn't appreciate that. It had a lot for its, uh, for a 2000 year game. I'll, I'll give it that. Oh, much. yeah. It was really impressive. Throwing a grenade in. Oh. Oh, did you get crushed? Yeah, you got chewed. Oh. I guess I didn't run fast yeah. enough. God damn it, do we have yeah, to start again? Yeah, you have to... <clears throat> yeah, probably. Fuck. Okay. 
Yeah, there's like certain pots or certain spots where you can and cannot stand. I also couldn't cut it. I was holding the lance. Yeah, look at me. I'm stuck in the box now. I can't Ooh. move. You have a hammer burst, don't you? Right now, yeah. I'm gonna exchange it. Right now. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, I had a lancer and I held B and it was just like hitting the thing. Alright, you should be. Yeah, go get him. I'll try to. Let's see. See? I'm sliding on Dude, the floor. Oh shit. Yeah, I, yeah. Guess so. I think you'll have mm. to do it because uh, there's some kind of a delay and I'm walking like in Maybe. half depots. Whenever we're on water, I've noticed in the Gears 2, wherever we're on boats, I can see you walking very weirdly. And I can't do some of the shit, so I think it's just like game catching up with the physics. <laughs> Come on! Come the fuck on! Well, that, that time I didn't shoot him because I had a target bow out. I thought I had my Lancer out. Uh, <laughs> I didn't even get to do it if he's just like splat. Let me know if it's getting too late for you. Yeah, it is weird now because of the, the water's coming in on my boat even though it's it's not supposed to look at me i don't know if you can see me how i'm walking but i'm walking like i have an issue Whew. okay survive that oh god move I just try to stay away I can't really help much finally Good girl. Do I have grenades? This is like the Irving fight in RE5 somehow. But without turrets. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> Irving was like such a character. He was ridiculous. Yeah, like a comic relief villain. Pretty much. Okay. I go in once. Oh, it's spitting grenades. So this time I'll just run in instead of walking. Hopefully I don't wait, collide with wait. him. Wait, He'll shoot the front, shoot his eye, and then, then he'll it, yeah. jump back on it. Yeah. Get close-ish. Alright, go. Yeah, I can't. You go in. I can't, really. Well, I can't even move fast enough there. Because I get stuck on nothing. I mean, if you look at my stream, you'll see that Dom moves like he's got serious issues. Kind of teleports with himself. I just hear the immense suffering of the giant thing. <laughs> Bravo. Can I help? No. I'm afraid to run in so we don't have to restart again. Alright. Okay. okay, I'll try next time again. They called him Benicio de Lago. Shit. You okay? Where's my lancer? No, I oh, got okay, it, there I got we go. It. We're good. All I wanted to do was pick up grenades, and the game's like, oh, you want to drop your lancer for a hammer burst? Okay. Yep. Like, no. I'll get ready to jump in. Yeah, I did it. I'll get the left test. Alright, shoot the swinging wormy thing. Uh, by the way, my uh, sound is stuck on an uh, infinite lancer. I can't, oh, I can't shoot you. I just hear the lancer non stop. It sounds. Oh, la, la. <laughs> it's not stopping! I reckon you can't no, 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 it's okay. Let's just finish this. I'll survive the uh, auditory assault. Okay. Well, hopefully it won't be too much water. Yeah, it definitely has an issue with uh, water 
Uh, and make the... Wait, wait. Okay, now shoot his eye again. I'm inside. Oh, you are? Alright, well then good luck. I'm getting slapped. Once he uh, throws the little middle worm tonguey thingy out, just throw a grenade. Aim and throw a grenade. Fuck it. I'm getting slapped by something. Oh, gas? Oh, for fuck's sake! Am I up? You saved me? Yeah. He opened his mouth and let me in. Which I am A okay with. Yeah, out of ammo for this, but for this I'm not. I can still hear I the Lancer. Think that's it? Yeah, I think so, but Lancer's not stopping. Okay, Just yeah, rear, I think we're good. Rear, 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 rear. <laughs> Maybe these are the bugs uh, your friend was talking about in uh, Gears on Xbox One? No, no, no. He was saying it's unplayable. Like, you can't even play the game. Like, um, what was it? Not this time, but the time before. He walked in and he's like, you're playing Gears 2 on the one? I'm like, yeah. He's like, how? I'm like, I don't know. I just, I just loaded the game. <laughs> Cause, like, oh, yeah, they, they do update it. Yeah, they do update no, the but, like, it'll, it. Yeah, it'll like crash. Hold on, hold on. Stop. And I'm like, oh, yeah, we're pretty much done. Yeah, here. we're gonna end it here so we don't move further. Yeah. This is excellent spot. So, yeah, he was like, um, I'm gonna return lobby. Because I guess it like crashes on him or whatever. And like, I've had Gears 2 downloaded onto my hard drive since. It was available for me to uh, download. I guess that's mm -hmm. why it works. Yeah, I I got all, right, the, I'm all in the my games stream games. here. Yeah. Already? I mean, literally, it's like once I bought like Gears Four or whatever, it, they're just like here, have an entire have a code for yes. the previous Gears games. And I'm like, okay, thanks. I guess. <laughs> wasn't planning on getting these, but sure. I was grateful because I already had the first three games and Judgment. So I used those codes because uh, I gave the, my old 360 to my nephew and gave him the codes like here. You can play with me now. Like I said, he wasn't right. as enthused uh, about Gears as I am. Uh, which kind of made me sad, but Sasha was. She loves them so much. So And we usually played in System Link, so it's a lot different. None of this lag or... You know, because it's the same house, not even goes through the server, just Xbox to Xbox. Oh, so yeah. So it's, it's like split screen where everybody has their own screen. War Journal updated. Nice. I remember when I first got Borderlands, like, or like a little after the Borderlands 2 came out with their Ultimate Edition, you know, the game that had all their DLC. Yep. Like the game of I would take it over to my friend's house and we would split screen the entire campaign. That's how I, I played Borderlands. I had a Borderlands. great fucking time with that. I had a great time. Yeah, now every time I think of uh, Captain Scarlet, it's, I just think of you. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, honestly, I... Okay with that. that is totally fine with me. <laughs> you mentioned Shade last time and I started talking about Tales from the Borderlands. Why I started telling all that and I got carried away because I just love that game. Uh, it's because <laughs> yeah. Shade plays a huge role in that one. And I love him so much. <laughs> Who does he really? He yeah. so funny in that DLC. Like, the rest of that DLC was like kind of boring. But like... Yeah, Sand and Pirates. His yeah. conversations was so funny monologues he just has yeah he, he's a one-man dialogue machine he's just talking to you then he tells the story that he's <laughs> saying as that person yeah. like what the fuck dude <laughs> he's like we're so not dying of thirst over here <laughs> yeah let me just end the stream oh my god because i need yeah. to get ready for work <clears throat> thanks everyone for watching thanks for the su support mutations skylands uh i know the guys over there are playing outbreak i uh, will check them out uh, Scarlet, thank you. This was, <clears throat> pardon me. Oh, absolutely. This was wonderful. Uh, I had a so great I'll time. see you on 
in two days. Well, in two days, yes. same time, we're doing more Gears 2. Hopefully finishing it. Not sure. But we'll try. Maybe? It depends on you, I guess. <laughs> yeah. Uh, depends on how much I work I get on Wednesday for Thursday. So, yeah. At least yeah, two hour session. Iffy. That's the goal. Yeah. Alrighty, everyone. Have fun. And I'll see you tonight in uh, another outbreak. Bye for now.